<laughs> We're about to start. Uh, for sure. My bladies and bladers, welcome to the Wax Toaster. We have Stephen Babcock here with us. My co-host, Joey Lunger. Stephen, the White Wolf Babcock, what is up? What's up, boys? For those that don't, please like, subscribe, do all the social media platforms. Please, it helps. Thank you. Here we go. You sparking a joint? Spark is clear. I'm sparking so If the right. master, dude. Let's go. The last time, no, not the last time, but when we were in San Francisco, Cheers. I Cheers. was legit biffed out after <laughs> the weekend with you and Noah. Like, would you call them? You call just a bunch of little doinks? <laughs> <laughs> dude, more doinks than I've ever fucking smoked. Like, Honestly, we're you roll up as you're smoking. No, I think <laughs> while you're driving. Yeah, I gotta have weed to go get weed. You don't like it because my ST lips bleed. Very Mac, Mac Dre. So, what's up? How'd you get the nickname White Wolf? Ooh, <laughs> um, just being the young degenerate I am, basically, <laughs> fucking. Is the first year I went on, you know, the Northwest Shred Tour yeah. trip? Yeah. So uh, it was out in Oregon. Uh, the homie Gene Stiegel, he picked me and Sneak up. We drove out there. So again, it was like one of the last nights. The the homie Sean Oberg from like Manteca, he he brought this. Is uh, it's a luxury from his area. Is it comes in a plastic bottle, and it, he brought like three gallons. It's called White Wolf Vodka fucking terrible stuff horrible it's awful but um yeah i think i was i was probably like 14 or 15 at the time i think we went out there and i don't remember i don't know I, I remember shotgunning a few beers with sneak had probably like like half i don't know yeah, like half a bottle of that white wolf, white wolf shit maybe um fucking someone there from like the El Chupo crew had like shrooms. So I, I got to eat some of mushroom, some mushrooms for the first time. And yeah, I was, I was a little talkative guy. I was walking around. There's like so many different campsites throughout the whole area. Cause there's so many people. And I was just bouncing around from like fire pit to fire pit, just like talking to everyone. Like, I was like, Oh sick. I'm having hell fun. Like I was kind of shy the whole trip. And I like opened up and fucking to oh, end the night. White wolf. Yeah. I don't, I don't even remember like, the whole end, but I remember I was sitting there like falling asleep in a chair and shout out to Gene. I was, I was hella cold and he let me use his jacket, but yeah, I did him dirty. <laughs> I'm sitting there in the chair, like falling asleep. And I just like get up to yak and like yacked up on the jacket a little bit. And fucking like, that was that for that part. I like yak and was like, all right, I'm going to bed. And then I remember waking up, like coming to, it was like, I don't know how late at night, but the homie, I think Augustine he had his fucking flash his phone light he was filming me and I was like my head out of my tent just yakking like <laughs> just fucking just going at it and they're just great friends I have just great friends they're all just in a circle around me just laughing like yeah <laughs> you were like 16 yeah 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 I was I was like 15 I think 15 maybe 16 I don't think I was driving yet but um yeah I was doing that and at some point I like mumbled we were like oh like Zoolander while I'm like blacked out yakking out of the tent. So yeah, after that, they're like, damn dog, you were on that Zoolander shit. And fucking, yeah, I think Gene gave Can me the nickname White Wolf. Blue steel real quick. What's up? Can you give me your best blue steel real quick? So that one just stuck for you? Yeah, but, um, I'm pretty sure it was Gene who was like, damn, dog, you fucking drank all that White Wolf. And I was like, like howling at the night and shit that night, too. We were all like, oh, fuck, getting it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the one who gave me the nickname and, and it, it stuck. It which seems I'm, like boom. at first I what, didn't know how I felt about it, but I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm hyped at stuff. You're, you're the second guy we've had on in a row that's had their nickname uh, granted to them off a night of pure boozing. <laughs> the rum wizard and the white wolf are yeah the, the, born of the, the bog lagoon the bog lagoon you guys are <laughs> fucking, 
That was a good story. <laughs> that white wolf. I'm, I'm glad he's alive. It, it sounded like a, a like someone dying. Like <laughs> your story was good as well, just not as life threatening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you were 16 when you were given the name White Wolf. How old are you now? Um, 23. I'm gonna be 24 in April. Okay. Uh, I think I was. Yeah, I was like 15, 16 ish, something, some, something like that. But, Come on. Yeah, no, it was a good time. I started young, you know? Start them young. It's, I'm proud <laughs> of you. <laughs> when did you start? Yeah, when start, did you start skating? Start skating? Um, that trip? I started, like, aggressive skating, I think, 2010. <coughs> or no, 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 sorry, uh, 2012. 2012. It was, like, 2012, 2013-ish, I think. So how old so are I've you? I've been skating for, like, um, I think I was like 13 or 14. Okay. Yeah, 13. I started in eighth grade. Which, Sick. Yeah. But I mean, I've, I've been on roller skates like my whole life, pretty much. That's about the, in, yeah. That's the same as my, my whole deal. I started about eighth grade is when I really liked it. And then I had played roller hockey before that. So it was like I, I knew how to do it. But it takes yeah. a while and then you find something. It's about the right time, too. Yeah. You should make a, should make a good decision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the homie Cody Clark, he's the one who got me into it. Fucking, I saw him at the skate park one day. I had my skateboard and a pair of rollerblades with me. And fucking, yeah, he was like, yo, I got this box. Like, um, me and my homie were there skating. He told us to come skate it. We went over there once. My homie was like, he's not, like, that athletic of a person. And he was like, oh, I didn't like it. Like, I wasn't having too much fun. And I was like, fuck, like, I had hell of fun. I want to go back. And like, I was like, I was like, yo, call him, call him. Like he never wanted to go. So I didn't, get, didn't end up going back. And then Cody moved in like on the street next to me. And I was skating home on my skates from school. And I seen him there. He was like walking through. He was like, yo, I just moved into the street next to you. Fucking come skate the box. So like after that, I started going to his house. Like damn me like every day, fucking skating the box. And they gave me like hand-me-down. Um, I think it was like, Vinny had given them like a box of skates at some point and they had like a bunch of skates and skate parts put together and yeah they, they gave me a pair of those and, and that was all yeah, like, Brentwood yeah yeah in Brentwood and yeah it was like a month and a half two months later uh was like Christmas time and my parents got me some Genesis 7.2s those was like my first new skates into the like while starting to skate and yeah it was fucking had just had a blast ever since starting to skate. What made you want to get the Genesis skate? Uh, I think Cody was skating razors at the time, I think. So he was like talking like, yo, like you should try razors. And I, I want to say that he said that those would be like a good, like a, like not beginner boot, but like a good boot to like, I don't know, That's test the waters and shit. Solid recommendation. And, yeah, yeah, I, I loved them. They're super comfortable. Fucking, yeah, I started off in like a size 10 of those. Then my next skates I got were some TV2s, and those were size 11s, and those were boats. Those, <laughs> those, <laughs> yeah. I bought large shell Jeff Stockwell shadows after I like got rid of my hand me downs. I was like, yeah, let's, let's skate that thing. That was a horrible idea. <laughs> like, as your first like skate, you're going to get into it. It's like, this is <laughs> weird. Yeah. It's all, but this is not normal. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty. <laughs> the yeah. first kid I ever like chose to buy was the Dustin Latimer, like oh, shadow. So, oh, well, you're a cool guy. Yeah, that was yeah. good. Yeah, but it was still a shadow. It was definitely a weird skate to like <laughs> learn all those things in. I don't know. I've okay. never skated shadows. I've always skated them once. My um, the homie in Brentwood when we started skating, he got a pair. But he was, like, smaller than me, had little ass feet. So I fucking was barefoot. I didn't, I couldn't fit shoes in them. So I was just barefoot strapped in, and I was skating around the park. Super exposed. My toes were very, yeah, a lot of danger. But, but yeah, I'd like, I don't know. Shadows, but I feel like they'd be fun for negatives. You just have a party. But I just don't like the way that they look for the most part. Some of them. It's pretty sick. You right off the bat, it seems like you met Cody, who's still like very active in skating. You guys were like kind of like around Vic and Brentwood when he would like come and donate skates to you guys. So you were kind of like 
there was like skating around you right off the bat kind of yeah yeah um i went over to cody's house and the first skate video he ever showed me was hypey three and i was just like super blown away because a lot of the shit was like local like there's the brentwood post office rails they skate on mostly like night and it's like these yellow rails that gap out to the street um i live like less than a mile away from those and I seen a bunch of clips on those and was like, holy shit, like that's fucking right there. Like, no way. And I seen was it like Josiah and Sneak. They were like, I'm assuming around the same age that I was at this at the time that I was watching it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, that's sick. Like little kids can like they could do it too. Like they're fu- like, fuck, it's possible. Like, holy shit. So I just fucking got super hyped off that. And yeah, one, once I started like going out and meeting people like i realized that, like the thing world especially out here in the bay like we have fucking legends around here um like i feel like in most sport like skateboarding i feel like you're not really as exposed to like pro skaters or able to be around like the, the upper level like that and get like to know them on a close level but yeah <laughs> um like all those people or not all of them but a lot of people in like high fees like the first skate video that i ever watched i'm like super close friends with now and they've like accepted me into like the jsf family like we're fucking yeah it's Shut it's up. i don't know it's it's sometimes kind of surreal i'll be like drunk driving home with fucking some of some of them and i'm like damn dude like five ten years ago i used to be like oh wow it's fucking i'm around you guys no yeah <laughs> <laughs> When was the first time you were like in that moment? You were like, "Oh shit!" Like I'm like in it now. Like was it like an event? Like did you go to like a contest or something? Or like, um, yeah, I, I get. It's not really like a like I can't think of one exactly, but there's one that sticks out. Um, the first year I went to Blade Cup. Um, I think, I think I was a freshman. And I, my parents, they wouldn't let me go like off with some random strangers and go on a road trip to some skate comp. Understand. But my dad was cool enough to, he was like, yo, like I'll, I'll drive down and like I'll go to Universal Studios for the day or some shit. I'll go do some shit and you can go to the comp. And I was like, oh, sick, really? Like, so yeah, my, my parents have been like super supportive of skating like from the jump. But yeah, he was willing to do that. So he drove out there and uh so i went to the comp we skated did all that stuff and at the end of it my dad was like yo like i understand it's probably like after parties and stuff like if you want to go and like stay the night with one of your friends or something it's cool with me just don't tell your mom (laughs) so yeah i fucking i went and stayed at a hotel room with some of the buddies and later that night i think i talked to someone maybe forgot who it was exactly but they invited me over to it was like the jsf room so i like walked over and we were staying at the same same hotel so i just walked over went to the room and yeah it was just all the homies in there fucking it's just the room was tacked out there, there's something like that big had like tarantulas I, I think what they called them but i don't know it was like the biggest thing i ever seen smoked at the time at the time i was like oh shit and i'm just sitting in there a little ass kid like fucking Oh, I'm lit. And I'm just looking around. I'm like, wow, these are all these OG, triple OG fools in here. And I think I was sitting in there with Bander. Me and him were like the, like the youngest. We were sitting in the back of the room all like, damn, like fucking, this is sick. And then all of a sudden we get like a boom, 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 a knock on the door and someone's covering the peephole. And I think it was someone, it might've been Kenan. I think Kenan was the one who knocked. But yeah, someone was like, oh shit, it's the knock. And when I heard that, I was like, oh, no, we're in so much trouble. Like, little little kid, just imagination. Like, oh, no, all the bad stuff's about to happen. My dad <laughs> shouldn't have let me do this. I'm about to get us both in trouble. <laughs> so, um, so me, I think me and Bander, like, ran. We hid in the bathroom. <laughs> we, we, like, went in the bathroom. We're like, all right, like, what the fuck are we doing in here? What This is, this is pointless. So we, like, poke our heads out. And then we see, they open the door. And it was, yeah, it was a homie. But yeah, that was that was one of the first times that I felt included in like a like outside because we were in SoCal. Like I was totally out of my element. I didn't go with anyone that I knew, and yeah, they like welcomed me in, so that that felt nice. You mentioned so, that 
you started in eighth grade and then you went down there freshman year. So like a year into skating, you went to Blade Cup. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Sick. That's yeah, yeah that's was, that was hyped. Fucking. So, yeah, no, Blade well, Cup. I missed Blade Cup. I so didn't, do I. Didn't I go last year, and then this year it got canceled. Yeah. Well, last year. Yeah, last year. I mean, 2020 oh, yeah. now, y'all. Yeah, yeah. It still happens. Year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you guys been sticking through the, the COVID shit? Have you guys been working and all that stuff? I did today. Got a got a gig for this week, but it's just four days. It's going nice. well. Just been skating, you know. Skating. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's it's like a a like a, a really shitty thing that like COVID hit. But when it first hit, like that first wave, we definitely took a, a lot of advantage of the empty streets. Like in, yeah. yeah, Taylor got us going out there, like hit it wet again and shit. And yeah, they were overutilizing that shit fucking damn yeah i don't I, I couldn't hang with some of the even though there's no cars and shit for the hill bonds i still wouldn't do some of them <laughs> yeah, i was about to ask how you uh how you fare with the ufo cess line oh yeah i started to learn them i started to get a little bit comfortable but then i gripped on one and almost died and then i got scared and was like i don't know if i want to keep doing them <laughs> but I, I don't know they're the sugi has got them down like a motherfucker him and Taylor, you, you two both fucking, you damn near did that whole block going down that, that street that day, right? Yeah, I went back and tried to do that again, and I did it. And then we looked at the clip, and we were like, oh, this is how all the clips end, though. Like, that's that can't be it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fucking nasty. You did the entire street, and you are like, ah. I, I did, like, <laughs> like, like three-fourths. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Should have waxed it. Shout out ESG. He was like, you should wax it. I was like, I'm kind of a little bitch about it. That is <laughs> so fast. Yeah, I bet that seems so fucking scary. And it damn fucking fake he bombed it, right? Yeah. Was that yeah? <laughs> Nuts. We're talking about this this it's like a random hill we found over like uh kind of near Daly City ish. I think I'm not totally okay. sure where the hell it is. But yeah, I can't say too much because we're still working on it. But you're also working on more than one part. You're not only filming with me currently, but you're working on another project with Nico. What's his last name? Uh, Sotomayor. Sotomayor. Yeah, oh. we're working on Next in Line 2, which, yeah, I'm fucking super hyped to be a part of, which, so, yeah, along with the whole like being welcomed into the crew and shit. Um, yeah, I'm fucking, I feel blessed to be a part of a, a second one since they're making it. So who is filming that and who's going to be a part of that? I, I haven't heard anything about this. Nico. Um, Nico Sotomayor. I, I know Nico. Yeah, uh, Nico's like the main filmer. Okay. Um, I, I just film filmed on? a clip the other day. So okay. fucking, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but it's like most of the original people, it's like Sneak, Gene, Nico, Jake Dotson, uh, Kyle Nolte. Wow. Uh, he re-edited the poster. He put Mike Lasore's name on there. So NASA Mike's gonna be in the video, hopefully. Uh uh Yeah, but I'm hoping I'm hoping he gets a decent amount in there. That'd be sick to see him get some yeah, pieces that's... in there. But yeah, that's a crowd pleaser. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm, I'm fucking hyped. We've yeah we've been filming. For like a few months now, we went out to Seattle. And I kind of like started it off, and then we came back, and then yeah, we, that's when it kind of all started. But yeah, the last few weekends, I've I've gotten some stuff that I'm pretty hyped about. So we're getting the getting the ball rolling, rolling, keeping the momentum going. But that, and then yeah, I don't can I'm, I'm working on something for with Mike. I don't can we talk about the TV thing? Is that <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm working on like three things right now. <laughs> you could say where you're like you're working on something for another for another project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but you're working That's, with Mike on that, like it's just street skating it with Mike, and we're talking about Mike Jimenez. Yeah, Mike oh, Jimenez. Mike. Yeah, it's gonna be like some like lifestyle shots, some B-roll, 
get it, getting to know me and then, <laughs> and then yeah and then skating shit damn we're trying to get people to know you too they're really gonna know you after all this somebody's <laughs> gonna know you no one's gonna get to know me too much they <laughs> So you're on Razors. You're also sponsored by a couple companies as well. Yeah, what do, what do you got going? Um, you just giving me shit. Moonshine has my heart. I love them. Got that one. Yeah. He's a good boy. Damn, yeah, you're sponsored yeah. by competing wheel companies, though? <laughs> 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 nah. I'm not, nah, um, I'm not on Red Eye anymore. I, I, yeah, since Moonshine made wheels, I, I, yeah, I decided to drop them. Okay. I, I, yeah, I love them. They they're super yeah. cool, doing great things. But yeah, I just it didn't make sense to have like two wheel sponsors, and Juan's been with me since the jump. So yeah, he's he's right. got my heart. Well, now, now the people know well, too. That's my heart too. Officially. Yeah, but, um. But yeah, and then yeah, Razors. They just sent me the gray shifts. So I'm. They, yeah, we're we're entangled. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want to put labels on it because I don't know what the label is. But yeah, I just signed a contract with them last week. <clears throat> no. <laughs> no. Say, damn. Like, yeah. Other people are gonna be very upset to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, like, football, you guys are entangled. Yeah. We've talked to uh, like Ray and Dom, Dom Bruce and Ray Cronenberg. They both uh, get hooked up by razors too, and I mean. You guys all kind of said the same thing. It's like, and, uh, and Cody said the same thing. Yeah, and Cody gets like, the same. we're sleeping together. Like, you're all. <laughs> we get stuff. We're, friend, we're friends with benefits. I don't know. My question is more like, I, for other people that are like want to know how it comes about. Like, could you talk about your experience of like? They're like, oh, you're gonna just start getting this shit now. Get used to it. Wow. Well, um. I mean, it wasn't necessarily like that. I, I had, uh, at the time, Aggressive Mall was still around. It was RIP. I miss them very much. But um, I kind of, it got started off through like a shop sponsor, kind of. Uh, I think I think they like send a, a certain amount of skates mm -hmm. to the shop to like shop flow out or whatever. But um, yeah, the homie, um, Paco Ash Dre, Dre Flores, fucking him and Sneak, they both vouched for me like really tough. Made that happen. I think the the SL Reds were the first pair that they sent to me. Oh, that's a yeah. I was, I was super hyped. So you know, I still have that pair of skates in my room, just sitting there. <laughs> Damn. So you got sponsored like the old fashioned way, like through a shop, like got the flowed skates, and then like made it so that you had a direct contact with the company when the time came that the shop was no more. Yeah, yeah, they they definitely helped me out a lot. Fucking, I think they sent like no, they yeah they it was like one or two pairs they sent to the shop, and I went to the shop and picked them up, and then I think the SL Reds were the first one that they sent to the house. I think oh, okay, I think yeah, that direct. Yeah, the yeah once once he asked for the address, I was like, ooh, was like, yay. <laughs> Got got real excited. And you mostly deal with Jeff. Yeah, yeah, Acres. Yeah, he's he's tight. He's he's a great dude. Here you go, man. He, he, he's a dad. <laughs> he's he's the dad of the team, basically. Je Jeff Howard was the, was Does the dad of a trip. For you? What's up? Does it feel that way for you that he is like the dad of the team? I mean, he seems like he like if anyone needs anything or like has anything to ask or something like they go to him it seems like yeah acres like, yeah yeah i mean we don't we're, we're not in contact like a whole bunch but yeah for the most part he he's there whenever you need him for yeah like that's awesome I, he, he um we went out to the, the when i was living in portland me cody and paco went out to blade cup and jeff howard went too and fucking yeah, we ended up staying a couple extra days. We like went to the Razors warehouse and yeah, Acres he like put us up in a hotel room for a night, let us crash at the warehouse. Again, yeah, it was, it was tight. Is do you know if the does it still have the down boxes and everything, or is that not still a thing? Yeah, it does. They changed it around. It's a center down box. I think yeah, I think it's just one in the middle now. Um, it's really fun. Yeah, yeah, it's but, yeah. Little, like, 
piece of Drex like down the side of the bank, like you know, like yeah. Justin, yeah, you know, like that, that, like, uh, that composite like decking. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's like down the side of the bank at this point, so you can like lock dark side stuff and just slide all the way down the bank. It's so fun. I haven't seen many pictures of it recently. Have you guys? Uh, you can look at it in. Uh, I think it's in a BTS eight edit. I think Acres like like a couple days ago posted a clip on it. On it. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't been there or, or skated it since it's been like remodeled. But it looks a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah Brooklyn but, is there. Well, I know it's way more fun than more. the Razor's Warehouse. Derbs Ranch, way better. <laughs> we were there not that it's like more, two weeks. Not that it's better but yeah it's better it's you were there two weekends ago right um yeah i was there yeah two weekends ago and i was there last weekend too i'm sure a lot of it, people have seen some of the clips and stuff that's come from that if you're i'm very jealous i would love to go yeah mike Meta has just made an edit of it it was it was a great time but yeah that's the homie mike derbs or steven blevins yeah he's the fucking homie so you're homies with a lot of people in skating, like not only in the Bay Area, but like you lived up in Portland for a while? Yeah, I lived there for like two, two and a half years, I think, something like that. Talk, can you talk to us about that a little bit? Like what what was like the timeline and things going on around then? <laughs> and you, you, um, made, you made content during that time, right? A lot. Yeah, yeah, that's... No, like, yeah, like, like the name of the, the, the video was called Content. Yeah, but it's still content. a lot of content. <laughs> Yeah, that was fucking, that was a great time filming for that. Fucking, I moved out there. Um, I moved in with Cody and I, yeah, I had an ex lady at the time. She moved up to Portland. So we moved in together. Fucking, yeah, we did that. And then we got a, we lived in like a basement basically. It was like a duplex, but we were in the bottom half. And after like the first two weeks that I moved there, it started snowing. And I guess it was like the worst snow that they had had in like, 14 years or some I don't know some amount of years but I went into it was like Wendell's an indoor skate park went in there skated for like an hour or two came out to smoke a blunt and there was just a whole layer of snow everywhere everything is white and I was like what the fuck like I've never experienced that before like we went in skated longer came out and it was like a little bit worse and I was like nervous about driving home like I've never driven in the snow like what the fuck and that started it off like the next like a few weeks maybe a month uh it was just everything was snow and like roads were frozen over and shit and i was uh i was working at a red robin it was like a few miles away from the house at that time and yeah i was just driving on ice every day to work i didn't have chains on my tires or anything no. that's yeah i've never we had to like walk to the grocery store walk walk back with groceries in like two feet of snow this is like so, right, you know, right when you moved there this basically started happening yeah yeah and i was like oh this is a big change i've lived in the bay my whole life it's like perfect weather i've had some shitty storms here and there but you yeah, must have like, felt <laughs> like you made a great decision leaving <laughs> yeah right like, yeah this is what i needed i was like yeah, i'm so uncomfortable every time i go and skate i'm fucking cold my toes <laughs> hurt yeah had a blast no but no it was it was a great time out there though the the winters did get a little shitty it, it was it was That's hard nice going. Forever. Yeah, it, it was hard going without the snow or going without the sun for like fucking almost thirty days at a time. Sometimes that that sucked. But um, fucking yeah, getting to I got to like meet and skate with like, Jeff Howard, like Shane, fucking John Christopherson a lot more out there. Um, Okay, and I got to go up and meet like the Seattle dudes and like, skate with them a lot more. Like Josiah, Carter, fucking Sam, Christensen Brothers. Fucking okay, there's yeah, there's more of you guys. I love you all. But yeah, that that introduced me to like I got to film for like the shift thing with Jeff, which the yeah, the good thing about the content video, that was like right after uh my, my girl left me and she moved back to California. She tried to take baits with her too, but I said, no, nah, fuck that. Excuse called, me. Called out, called out of work. Drove back. Dropped her shit off. Picked him up and left. Fucking yeah, that that was a fun thing to go through. But as soon as that happened, Someone razors they dropped me. the 
Yeah, 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 no. So yeah, Chad, you'll take the that you got? <laughs> it's like, fuck that. As soon as we got them together, too, she's like, if we break up, I'm taking them. And I was like, that's a weird thing to say. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, as like, right after that happened is when Razors dropped the, the shift ones. And they sent me those. And, yeah, I, I had a lot of free time on my hands now. Cause I didn't have someone to entertain at home and whatnot. Fucking... <laughs> um so and this is like the same time i started skating with jeff a lot too and it was, it was really nice to we got like a lot of like one-on-one -on -one sessions where it'd just be me and him go out filming each other skating he definitely he he wouldn't let me film like street or like anything after like a whole like month of him like with uh with the death lens he's like all right like you're practicing like he's like training me at the skate park like him and cody would give me tips and shit and yeah, I, it, it took a while for him to be like, all right, like, all right, you can finally film one. And I, yeah, I got to film one clip of him. Is in Chance Rain 3, I think. Um, he does, it's like this little like three stair rail, like soul. And then there's a flat rail next to it, transfers to soul. And then there's another like three stair down rail next to it. And then you does film the hard top soul. Soul. Yeah, yeah, soul, soul to hard top soul. That and then right after funny. right after he flips this dude off, this dude was fucking with us and he was trying to be a super citizen, trying to kick us out. And this day, we went to like four spots, and literally every single spot there's a fucking super citizen trying to like, no, you guys can't skate here. You guys gotta leave. You fucking like kicked us out of all the spots, and we were just frustrated at the end of this day. And fucking, yeah, this was like the last one. And he's like, No, fuck this. Like, as soon as he jumped for the first soul, this dude like screamed like his fucking lungs out like ah, like trying to throw him off and that's the time that he laced it so when he landed he just said fuck you fool and we, we dipped after that it was he was on the phone with the cops like the whole time too but yeah that fool jeff he works he operates on another level it, it was amazing getting to know him and skate with him fucking and yeah was trained by him what's up getting trained how to film by him pretty much yeah he the everything on the fish i pretty much know because of him like code cody introduced me to the death lens so he got me started but yeah he definitely he, he yeah he, he gave me some tips damn that's super sick yeah fucking but yeah we, we filmed for like a few things while in portland most a lot of iphone stuff which yeah could have been a could have been a bunch of like or not a bunch but could could have been a few solid actual videos that we could have made, but yeah, it's just all immediate straight to Instagram. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got to film for a Chance of Rain three out there too. I was that just was a great mention. time. Yeah, you guys, but, you, but at this point for Chance of Rain three, you're not living out there anymore, right? Uh, we started filming for that like like a month or two before I moved. Maybe, okay. maybe like, something like that. Um, I had got, yeah, I'd, I'd gotten like a solid, like four or five weekends out with them. We, we would go to Seattle or they would come to Portland and fucking, they'd crash at mine and Cody's apartment. They, yeah. They, they all came there, lost our minds on mushrooms one night. It was fun. <laughs> that was like the first, the first night we started filming. They, they came out to Portland. I broke my middle finger on, on the first clip that I got and then we ate a bunch of mushrooms i ate like i ate the mushrooms that night mm. and i was walking to my bedroom we were like all chilling in the living room i'm like walking down the hallway to my bedroom and i like untape my finger and i look down at it and this shit looked so cartoonish it looked like a big ass balloon like oh my i was like oh my god i was like oh this finger's bad it's it's broken <laughs> like um but yeah I, I skated there with them for like a few weekends before I ended up moving back. And after that, yeah, it, we had like two or three trips. We like drove down, me, Sneak, and Noah. And yeah, we linked up. We ended up having like a split section. Uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite sections. Cause yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, same shit kind of with, with Hit It Wet. It was like a, a smaller version though, same crew. <laughs> my big favorite clip that you got in that, that part is that Royale True Soul No Look Wall Ride. Oh yes, dude. Thank dude, you. That one that, that was, killed me. Yeah, I, like, I didn't. I didn't. 
know, like, I didn't know what I was doing when we got there. And I, like, started kind of, like, oh, maybe if you, like, wall ride into this, because there's, like, a little bank there, too. Mm-hmm. Um, I, like, started trying it, and I was struggling. Like, I was, like, oh, I think I'm just trying this for no reason. Like, even if I do it, it's not going to, like, look how I want it to. But, like, yeah, after after a few, I was, like, oh, fuck, I figured it out. Like, I'm, I kind of know what I'm doing. You just yeah. realized, you just tried that right off the bat, kind of, the Royale True Soul? No, you, I think throw- I did. Um... I did. I skated it from the bank, going down it a couple of times, like from the other side. Like I did. Oh, going in the negative opposite. acid, value top acid. Oh yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, I did that one. I think I did that one first. Oh shit, that's and the same spot. I did not even like. Put yeah. That together. Yeah. Um, I think I did that one first, and then I wasn't really happy about it because it was like, it almost seemed like a stall to me because there's such a little rail and like for a switch up. Um. So I was like, fuck. I want to do something like different too because i i at the time i was doing negative acid to alley top or like doing that thing like kind of really fucking right foot pivot yeah no, thank you good looks but yeah no, I, I i was like ah, i feel like i'm doing it too much like I'm, i want to try something that i don't normally do and yeah I, I was very happy with that one congratulations on that one i was a big big eye catcher yeah, yeah. yeah it was great but especially how you just don't look that's that's the like, that's the secret i was looking <laughs> where you know? like, you, kind of i don't know i was oh, like i was looking down like, like i wasn't under. Look, yeah i was like looking under my armpit okay. like i could see where the pillar was but i couldn't see where i was gonna hit it if yeah. that makes sense that makes sense for but, sure yeah if i just went into it like look back like look like that that'd be wild blind? <laughs> And so who, yeah, just count, count down. So who were like uh, some of the skaters like you saw Hypey one where they're like people that you were like, oh, I'm gonna, I am gonna, I want to skate like this guy type of thing. Like you had Victor out of Brentwood. Was he like a big influence or were you like, ah, he's all right. Like I like these other guys better. Oh no, Victor's a huge influence. Fucking Brentwood. That's, that's, <laughs> bro, why do you think I do so many Mizus? Fuck. That's <laughs> no, but, um, yeah. Like his trick vocabulary, his fucking style, like it, his skating in general just stands out. And like I mentioned too about how like I'd see like a lot of like the local spots or like shit that I'd seen, like I'd seen recognizable spots and, and like them them all fucking it up, like doing wild shit. And I'm like, oh wow, that's insane. Like and then the fact that that, that they're all like really cool solid dudes when you're saying that, when you're saying the the all i just want to make it clear for people you're talking about J, the jsf crew yeah yeah pretty much yeah yeah like Vic, like, Yvonne, okay uh, yeah esg kenan fucking scott moore fucking there's so many more that i'd yeah i don't yeah there's yeah made too many many too many to name it's just the, I just wanted people to know, like when you're saying yeah. the all, that's oh, yeah, about. yeah. One of my yeah, one of my favorites to watch from those videos too is Mike, Black Mike, or Mike Lashore, NASA Mike now. <laughs> yeah, he was. Where did that come from, NASA Mike? He, NASA Mike. He works for NASA. Oh, NASA. Oh, I thought no. you said NASA. He doesn't, I don't think. Oh. I, I think you're mistaken. I don't think, I, I don't think he works for NASA. I think he works for the people that build the rockets for NASA. So well, he, same shit. He built the rover, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just saying, it's, it's just yeah, as cool. I'm not yeah, knocking, yeah. I'm not saying that he's not NASA man. Just, so. Yeah, but that yeah, that's that's where it derived from pretty much. Okay. <laughs> but um yeah, he did on the Matt Turner rails, top acid gap to True Miz just made it look way too fucking easy. Insane. I just saw that photo at Aaron's house. I don't know Aaron's last name, but he has that photo on his wall. He has a photo of that trick. Yeah, the top acid True Miz. Right. Yeah. Wow. I I I don't think I've noticed that there, or maybe I, I don't. I'm faded every time I'm over at Aaron's house. I, Every time I go over there, we watch skate videos. I'm like, damn, I've never seen this before, but we watched it last time. Or like, 
points. It's pretty sick. I think Aaron has probably like the best like old blading collection that I've seen to this day. Like yeah. clothing, videos, the whole like, nine. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's got it all. You're sitting on quite a collection in your background right now. You got a medium poster up. Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck that is, dog. This is where are we right now? <laughs> <laughs> where, 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 where are you reporting from? Yeah, I'm at Noah's house. I'm, I'm, I'm oh. sitting in Noah's room. Oh, good. You, you think young ass me has a signed Brian Shima poster? No, uh, but, oh wow, that is thing is sick. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, I mean, I I got some blade stuff, but uh, yeah, nothing, nothing older than I am. This is, or wait, you no. Big, uh, yeah. You're not a big collector of the blade items. I thought um, I think you are. No, I I collect blade shit. I, um, I'm hoarding. I have like two garbage bag fulls of fucking old blade tees from Vic, like old Amol, like just miscellaneous like blade company tees, like a bunch of those that I like. I can't get rid of. Like, I mean, I'm growing a little bit of a beer belly now, so I'm like, oh, I can barely fit them. But I, yeah, I don't want to. Like, I and I don't know. All of blading items to me are collectibles. That shit's one on one. That shit's never like <laughs> who's gonna remake that? Or like, yeah, I don't know. Especially when you get it like that. I got a bunch of shirts at a contest from Austin Paz, and my mom still wears some. Whenever I go, I'm like, I know where that came from. <laughs> That's sick. So uh Steven, tell me about your uh first barbecue in Stockton. <laughs> <laughs> Did Joey's Cody ask you that? What? Is, is that Cody? Is that <laughs> my first barbecue in Stockton. Um uh so uh, Cody moved out to Manteca at the time. Uh I think he was like living with his sister and I'd go stay weekends with him sometimes. And the homie Carrie Tatch, fucking I don't know if you guys know him. He's like one of those Stockton dudes. Um, but yeah, he had a barbecue and he had a, a 20 foot kind of fat P rail. Um, uh, yeah, 20 feet long. It's amazing. I think Sean Oberg has it now, but we barbecued there fucking skated all day and some hot ass Stockton weather. It was like over a hundred degrees, hella fucking hot. I was drinking beers, didn't drink like any water and <laughs> fucking the there is hot dogs that they were barbecuing but they were like all out of them and they just had like the pack of like pre-cooked hot dogs in the ice chest and i was hella hungry so my dumb man i went and ate like fucking a couple of just like the cold fucking hot dogs so I, was hella hungry. I was like fuck it i'm eating and then yeah get get even more hot from skating and shit so <laughs> we're all done skating and everything. We're driving home and I'm sitting in the back, just, like still sweating, like, oh, fuck, I'm getting hell hot. I was like, oh, shit, I'm getting kind of nauseous. And like, I don't know, I just fucking, I'm sitting in the back seat of the, the homie Travis, uh, Travis and Darren, uh, the back of his, I think he had a PT Cruiser at the time. <laughs> it was, I, I think it was, so it was, it was Travis driving, the homie uh, Ray Ray, I think he was in the, the shotgun seat and then me and Cody in the back. Or yeah, something like that. And you <laughs> I, 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 yacked, I, I yacked in the car, chunks of hot dogs fucking everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. Yeah, it fucking cooked. <laughs> it's it's so horrible, but I vividly remember like the homie Ray Ray was like, Oh bro, you got it on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a little ass kid. I felt awful. But when I heard this and like saw what I did, I fucking couldn't help but laugh. And this this I was I was yeah, I was fucking like 16, maybe 17 at this point. Oh, like shit. um like just started driving out there and shit. I, I think I was I think I was driving out there. I might have been getting dropped off. I still might have been like 15 or 16 at this point. Oh no. Cody, Cody's yep. calling you. Yeah, Cody's trying to Facetime me my, right now. My bad. Um, All good. That's kind but, of nice. um, it's your first like, skate friend still calling you. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, where was that? Some uh, Manteca. Fucking. 
You threw a pot of dogs all over his neck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Threw, <laughs> threw a pot of dogs all over his neck. And, um, so this dude, Travis, who was driving, he's like a grown man. He's young, but he's a grown man. And I'm a child who just fucked up in the backseat and I'm laughing after. And like, I saw, he's like, bro, oh my God, you're fucking lucky you're just a kid, bro. I fucking beat your ass right now, dude. <laughs> and, I'm, and I was like, oh, dude, my bad. Like, and um, yeah, we like, we stopped at a gas station. I like, I cleaned out the car and everything, fucking cleaned it all out. And to make up for it, I was like, oh, maybe I should give him money. And I was like, wait, he sells weed. I was like, hey, can I buy some weed off of you? Like to make that for like let me let me like tip you and <laughs> the end of money. But yeah, I mean um he was he was cool about it. Like he, he's the homie. He that and that was like I think the, like, the first time I met him probably too. Some shit like that. But I thought you were gonna get some uh hot dogs from inside the gas station for everybody. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I probably should have. How how do you like a bunch of hot dog beer water all over your fucking neck <laughs> oh yeah that's not good uh, yeah that, that was a good one uh, thanks for that cody <laughs> was that cody clark oh, okay I, I didn't know if you were yeah i don't know i have no idea what you're talking about dude you don't know who oh, you, oh fucking yeah you know cody clark he introduced me to you he said, yo, yo, Steve, dude, you got to meet this guy, bro. Come here, come here, look. He has three nipples. I lost my shit. That's when I met <laughs> Trip Nip. What's up, my guy? Dude, Joey, you should show him. The first episode, you'll let him know. Trip Nip Joe. Do it. Let me pinch it through the screen. Yeah, Cody did say that you have a nipple obsession. Yeah, and dog. You talk about that, but. Come on. <laughs> ah, I got you. Let's go. I got to pinch <laughs> these nipples, dog. Show the nipples. It's not pierced anymore, but it's a little guy. <laughs> oh, it's not pierced anymore? Damn. <laughs> well, no, I just don't have it in. It's, it's where <laughs> Jerry's got three nipples that can be pierced. So since it can be pierced, it isn't. Pierced. It must be. Yes. That fool can produce way more milk than you. <laughs> I don't know if like can laugh No, <laughs> 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 yeah, what are you sipping on? It is. Uh, you ever heard of Model O's? Model O's. So what do you what do you like outside of skating? Enough about the skating. Yeah, fuck the skating. What do you do outside of the skating? Uh, when you're not doing the skating. Uh, I smoke a lot of weed and I drink a lot of beer. No, I hang come out with on. My <laughs> no, um, fuck, um. I'm not well, saying my, job, Star Wars. my job, um, I work with kids. It's a behavioral school for autistic kids, ages like six to twenty-two. So yeah, when I'm when I'm not skating, I'm doing that for the most part. How'd you get involved in that? Uh, the homie Noah. Uh, when I moved back from Portland, I I had been working in restaurants and shit, and like just bouncing from like jobs because. Like, if I wanted to go on a skate trip and they'd say no, then I would just quit the job and go get a new one. Like, come back, have a new have a new job by the next weekend or by the next week. But um, I wanted to, like, finally have something a little bit more solidified than that. And when I moved back, he had offered, like, yo, like, my, my job is hiring. And he's he's been doing this shit for, like, 10 years or so, probably. Um, and, yeah, when he offered that, I was like, sick, I'm down. Like, I'm a super impatient person, but I'm sure that this will help. Like, which it has a little bit. I'm still pretty impatient. But yeah, it took like two and a half weeks for the whole hiring process. But after that, I've, I've been there for almost to me three years next month, I think. Damn. So, yeah. yeah. I was going to say when you, uh, three years. That, that population definitely makes you learn how to be patient. Do you think that has like carried into other aspects of your life? Yes and no. I feel like in, in some parts I'm like a lot more understanding. So I'm like, oh well, yeah, like I get it. But then in other parts, I feel like like sometimes like after work or some shit, like after like doing that shit all day, like I feel, I'm like, fuck, like I get off work and I'm like, fuck you. Like you're an adult. I can fucking talk to you like, 
I don't have to be all like, oh, hey, like talking, like, fucking, like not faking it, but like doing the whole voice for the kids and like all that shit and fucking, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll find myself getting really frustrated over some like little shit sometimes just because I'm like, ah, like get super impatient over it. I'm like, ah, fuck. Because you've been being patient all day. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But, but it's really cool. So you enjoy that job that do you think you'll be there for a while? Um, yeah, I think so. I don't know. As as of lately, it's been kind of annoying. So so yeah, I don't How know. How's that going um, with COVID? Like, are you doing Zoom meetings? Are uh you in the classroom still? Like so s- since March last year, all the way till like August of last year we were just doing um we were on microsoft teams it's basically zoom doing video sessions so yeah i was doing that like the whole time which at first the kids were like kind of into it because they're like oh cool we get to be using technology and like doing it over the videos but like after a while like you could see that the kids were kind of over it so like all all the staff too were just it wasn't like i felt like it was like I don't know we couldn't do nearly as much as when we were there for like a full day in person we're actually able to be like hands-on and interact with them like because there's like functional students and then there's academic academic students some of them were yeah we're like teaching like math English right like all that stuff and then some of them are teaching on like daily living skills like brushing your teeth doing laundry tying your shoes like doing like so you, how to make food, stuff like that. So you so, different groups, different things. Yeah. And so that's like with the, I'm working with some more like academic students right now, but with, yeah, people working with like the more functional students, I just imagine it's like really difficult. And like some of the students are nonverbal, like they don't speak. And so like do like a video session with them for like two hours, it seems almost pointless sometimes. Cause it's like, what am I really, getting done right now rather than when you're in person you're you're able to like yeah do a lot more which yeah that's it's kind of like I'm kind of over the videos for that part but right now we're we're at a Monday through Wednesday we go onto campus the kids come from like 8 to 12 something like that and then Thursday and Friday we do the videos but it's only like there's only like four kids from the classroom that are allowed to come back right now they're like slowly going to be adding more so how do they how do they determine that like with testing um determine who comes back yeah like or or, they try to aim for the students who are like least benefiting from the video sessions mm -hmm. because some of the students are able to do it and like they're still getting stuff done like all the requirements that are needed and some of the students like aren't joining the videos at all or are just like, yeah, just struggling with it and would benefit a lot more from like coming in. So they try to aim for like those students to be coming back first and then yeah, slowly bring all the rest back. But yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to determine who's going to come back for sure. It's a, it's a hard job to do, man. You're, you're doing Good stuff for people. Yeah, that's admirable as fuck, dude. I'm proud of you. Thanks, dog. No problem. Oh. <laughs> Another model up. Model O. Model O's with my bros, dog. That's Here's <laughs> oh, it looks like you got that good good. Joey, yeah, he's packing. He's always packing some fire over there. <laughs> uh, oh. I'm rocking a space dust. Whoa. Nothing too crazy. What was that shit you introduced me to the other week when I was in the city with Mike? It was that bottle. It was the the, the heavy ones we, when we, we were on the bridge. I, I forgot what it was Ooh. called. Not uh, Taylor. Oh, uh, well, what did we get? Uh, Pliny the Elder? Oh. Yeah, 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 those are good. Yeah, yeah those, those were heavy. Yeah. That- that's a fucking quality beer, man. So it's yeah, a nice choice. You know, one bottle of that, you're like, all right, I feel, I feel fine to go. Cruising. Oh, I, I, I had like started skating and got a couple of clips after, after we left after that. Oh really? I was like, oh, I feel good now. Like, 
Like not not like real play, just like dick around shit. But mm-hmm. I started to try one. There's this like really it's like a, a, a triangle rail on top of a ledge, and then it went to one of those like razor blade I, metal ledges. I know where that is. Yeah, I I was trying that, and I I gave it like four or five tries. By the time I was like ready to transfer to the bottom one, some dude came out and kicked us out. I was like, ah oh, damn. Ah oh, damn. Yeah, just skated the parking garage. But yeah, that that had that that should have me feeling good. I was like, ooh, I kind of want another one. We'll have another one soon together. Oh yeah, those are pretty rare, dude. You got blessed. Yeah, we were, it was like a random liquor store that we stopped at. Um, I don't even know where we were. Yeah, above the Stockton Bridge, on uh, I think it's Pine, but there's also the Whole Foods by my house has it like all the time. Really? Yeah, constantly. That's sick. Yeah. They're a pain to get sometimes. Yeah, because you're down in LA and we're up here in the Bay. You know, we got, all, knows, uh, we got all the good stuff. The other day. Say what? Uh, Joe Jimenez brought some over the other day. It was a grand surprise. Nice. Yeah. That, that's a nice surprise. Yeah, you get me excited. Happy beer. <laughs> hmm. So when's the next time you're going to San Francisco to hang out with Taylor? I don't know. We can find out right now. When when should this happen? Fucking, I'm down next week. I think. Um, I don't know. I think it's Aaron's birthday this Saturday. I'm probably gonna be going like street skating with Nico out in like Hayward, San Jose area, and then probably going to. To Aaron's house after. Oh sure, man. Go first Aaron's house. Birthday stuff and watch some fights or something. Yeah, I might go do that. Nice. Yeah, see, you were over there last week for the fight, right? Yeah, it was fun. Nice. You had a good time. Oh yeah, they they bought the fight early, and then I guess there was a huge problem with people that bought it early. The stream was like not working for anyone because they had this like. Cause that, that Dana white guy, like apparently was like against the free streamers and it fucked up like the people that were actually trying to stream it that bought it too. So then he had to buy, he had to buy it again about halfway through to get it to start. To buy it again? Damn, that Those kids are expensive, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, from that. yeah. Cause yeah, I'm pretty sure Mike was telling us they just be streaming like every like free free streaming like all the fights so yeah this one that that wasn't happening no i guess that's over yeah. all those stream sites didn't work either yeah. so for everyone that liked those i think it's over mm-hmm. and if you find a new one leave it in the comments yeah. <laughs> <laughs> below yeah, please. Please. Yeah. Please <laughs> um so when you go out to the show when you go out to New San Francisco, are you going to be the white wolf or the mediocre wolf? Oh, dog, you know I'm always the mediocre wolf. What's up? <laughs> oh, shit. Now, you call me a weenie. <laughs> you said that to me a couple times. Wait, I'm, what? I'm being a weenie about it. Yeah, yeah. When I'm not doing a trick, I'm definitely being a fucking weenie. <laughs> Damn, I can... <laughs> That's... So where's the, where's the I don't want to name from? drop of that. That's a fucking funny ass story. I'm, I'll okay. tell it, but I'm not gonna name drop it. I don't, I don't wanna. You can, so, you can just name drop it once, just like randomly. It doesn't even have to be in a good sentence. Just like, yeah. <laughs> or we could just nah, figure it out with you. You could give us some context clues. Who's the, <laughs> who's the, who's the real weenie? Let's see. <laughs> so so um, so while going out, while I lived in Portland, going out to Seattle, fucking. Um, my, my guy Blee, fucking, he didn't have a phone at the time, so he, he was dating this girl, and his only way to contact was, like, through Snapchat, so we, like, stayed in contact through Snapchat and shit, and then that, like, that, yeah, we only did that while I was living out there, and once I moved back, I, um, forgot that I had her Snapchat in my, in my thing, and this girl, uh, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna say her name, but this girl I, I was uh, intimate with 
<clears throat> she, uh, she she woke me up one morning with some 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 nude photos and she requested some back so i was like all right i'm down i'm, I'm half awake let's let's fucking shoot my shot let's do this <laughs> so i just fucking you know take a picture of your dick in your hand like you do i think i do know a little bit more of this story than i thought <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> keep going dude keep going so I, so I take this great picture and um and i did i didn't do it in like the reply thing so i took the picture and then i had to like search to send it to someone so i went and searched for the name i like, hit the letter and then hit the first one that i saw and sent it and then went back to sleep Woke up, got ready for work, and I'm, I'm on my way. It's like 7.30 in the morning. I'm, like, pulling up to work, and I get a DM from Josiah, and fucking, <laughs> it's like, yo, dog, like, just wasn't too happy. He's like, yo, why am I waking up to this? Like, what the fuck? Like, like what's going on? And I, like, I'm looking at the message, like, what? Why is Josiah, what? Like, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. And it, like, clicked in my head. Uh, immediately I open up my Snapchat and I look and I see like received from this person with the same name and then sent to this person with the same name and I sent it to the two I fucking yeah I, I sent it straight to uh, his girlfriend instead of the girl that wanted wanted it so you know un or unwarranted nudes are always fun but so, so you just sent Josiah's girlfriend your weenie yeah check out so yeah Josiah and, is confirming that you are a bad friend <laughs> just, <laughs> but yeah me yeah no so yeah it gets even better so so they're they're like laying in bed in the morning they're like in the morning they're looking at the phone like oh sick got a snapchat from steven like oh he hasn't sent us in a while like oh let's see what it is and they open it together and they're like <laughs> oh and he's like uh is this like a regular thing? Like, what the fuck? Like, and then, and, 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 and yeah, and um, he was like telling Sneak about the story. And yeah, he was like, yeah, dog, I don't know. I mean, it was pretty mediocre anyways. So after that, I was like, ah, oh, the mediocre wolf strikes again. But yeah, I mean, I'm no Bashi, uh, you know. <laughs> you, know you know something about Bashi we don't know? Yeah, what do you know about Bashi that we don't know? Doug, we were all in the same room that night when we looked at his OnlyFans. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> it was funny, dude. <laughs> <He's mad. laughs> that was a fun sleepover, Doug. <laughs> hey, your staycation in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a great, great weekend at your place. Yeah, it was fun. Damn, you're, oh, you're not even, damn, you're at the new spot now, huh? Oh, yeah. This is my new glass wall that I have in my house. Hell, yeah. Nice yeah, glass wall, fun. dude. Thanks. Wait, wait is, it a, is that a glass wall behind you? Yes. Is it like a shower door? I'm in no. tree. No, this is like into the living room. That's like the, right? No, there's I've been a lot of cocaine yeah. in that apartment in the 80s. Yeah, <laughs> space. I was like, you know what we need? Glass door. <laughs> to match That's... the glass table. Nice. Oh, you got a glass oh. table too? Not yet. Nice. You gotta get that. Maybe. I, I don't really trust those things. <laughs> kind of nice. Feel it. Yeah, but they're not practical at all. Can't sit on it. That's fair. That's fair. Is your pup still eating your biffs? Uh, no, I think most of the tabletops are too high for its uh, nice. nature body. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that, that was a fun surprise that weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah, where'd the biff go? Oh, it's chewed up in the dog bed. It's <laughs> I, when Noah pointed out that the dog wasn't in the house and like the six oh, months before I almost food, forgot about that. I forgot about that too. Oh, oh fuck, dude, that was, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, did you you found me like at the at the bottom of the stairwell or some shit, right? Like the at, stairs? at the at the door to the roof. Oh, she, the door to the roof. That's right. She'd yeah. Gone out with me to take the trash out, and then I guess I didn't see her, and I went back inside, and we all began to eat, 
And then Noah pointed out that their dog probably would be annoying the shit out of us. And it wasn't anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found it up by the top of the roof and it pooped a couple times and was just kind of scared. <laughs> so it lived. It's fine. Honey's fine. Yeah. You don't have to be a real dog at this point. Dude, you, I, we've been talking about you and your skate clip, if the clips you've gotten in skating yep. and shit. But your dog has also been fucking a hot member in the skate community, too. Yeah, dude. He's been in, like, fucking four or five videos now. We didn't really talk about the sack videos that he's been in. Yeah, fucking... He's been, um, he was in bars while I was living in Portland. Gumby came up there. He was... Um, fucking... Dustin, he, like, hit a rail just trying to go up and over a fence and fell. And Bates came to rescue him and licked his face and whatnot. Fucking, um, yeah, he was, he was in Hit It Wet, right? No, 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 he wasn't. No, it was, um, no, he was in Grombe. He's, I don't, he's been in like, like two other videos I can't think of right now. Yeah, yeah. My, my, my favorite video piece I have, like, ever though, is like the me and Bates section. It was like my Grombe leftovers and like Bates was in like every single clip. That's like my, yeah, like my favorite shit. That's what I thought it was from Grombe. You had quite a bit with them in there. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a, that was a good summer. That, that was like the, the summer that I moved back and oh. yeah, I was keeping the momentum going from the Chance of Rain shit. Fucking uh, Casey had just started filming for that. I think they had started filming like right before I moved back because when I'd moved, um, like when I was in the process of moving my stuff, I came and dropped my first load of stuff off and I went out and skated in Fremont, like Mission San Jose with them. And that was like the first weekend that I got to like go out and film with them, got a clip and stuff. And yeah, got a sweet photo of me and Bates with, uh, with BSG that weekend too. Fucking so yeah, ever, ever since then, when, when I moved back, we were going out to sack like there every weekend. And yeah, bring, bring Bates along too. That's a sick timeline you had between like starting Chance of Rain 3 for a month. Then you came back and got into Grand Bay, but then you also went back for more Chance of Raining. Yeah, yeah, we, we were definitely riding off both of those videos. The, the fucking. You got to get it while the getting is good, baby. Yeah, yeah. it's hot it's hot dude fucking yeah, it strike it. I feel like it goes in waves sometimes when you're like filming you're like you got the juice you're going you're going and then once you kind of stop it's like oh i'm taking a break now but yeah, yeah we're definitely uh, yeah that was a that was a great summer great fucking year damn near all the way through the winter is that, that's How like, now? are you feeling uh, now? I'm, I'm feeling better i, I went through a through a phase where I fucking, I like smacked my head at Blade Cup a couple years ago. And I like tried to, I was like, oh, I'm going to get right back into it. I don't want to be a weenie about shit. And I started skating. I was like skating rails and stuff again. And then I got a helmet to like be just safe about it. Mm -hmm. And I was skating with that. And I started like, I don't know, every time I was skating with a helmet, I feel like it like got in my head or like all I was thinking about was like hitting my head with that so it's like started holding me back and i don't know i just i just kind of became a weenie <laughs> like it's you were funny. sometimes like having something there reminds you and sometimes it like makes that whole thing go away it, it's yeah yeah i was yeah. i was skating yeah. with it for a while i was trying it out i was like trying to like i don't know not think about it but I had to like wing myself off of wearing it. I wanted to like not depend on it or like something. I don't know if that makes sense, which I mean, it's not that smart. Like, especially I've hit my head like multiple times. So I sh definitely should be safe about it. But at the same time, I mean, I should just land the trick and not fucking fall too. So there's yeah. that. But Dealing with fear and skating is like a big thing and, Different methods yeah. work for different people. It's like whatever gets you to where you feel comfortable skating around again, whether it's with a helmet or not, you know, as long as you feel yeah. safe or, you know, confident in what you're doing, 
I can't – nobody can really knock you for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like last year, year and a half, I feel like I've just been overly cautious and, like, not willing to, like, really risk it or, like, not go out of my comfort zone. But, yeah, these – as soon as we started filming for, like, Hit It Wet Again and then doing this, like, Next In Line stuff, it's getting my confidence back and I've, I'm, I'm doing shit that I'm, like, proud of and – uh, not doing it like consistently again like going out even if it's like only once a weekend or some shit like that but i don't know it feels really good to push myself again and doing shit that i'm like all right yes like felt good about that one it's definitely different too when it's large groups of people that you're working with for these they're all seem to be more long-form projects so i think those things do come in waves where it's like all of a sudden it's like it seems like it's happening every weekend and then if it's like that, people want to be a part of it. But if nothing's happening, it's hard to make a lot of stuff start happening all at once. So yeah. Do you want anything out of skating, or are you just enjoying the ride of what you got from it for now? You think I do this for the pleasure? I do it for the clips, dog. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> for real, dude. How'd you get? How'd you get initiated to JSF? Cause you got initiated. Oh, it was damn near the same fucking white wolf trip night. Fucking, um, this was like one of the first things that got me in, um, or got me like a good word. <laughs> like me, Cody, Paco, like a couple other of just like the, the the young dumbasses that were there, our our little crew. We were going around. You know what table topping someone is. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, where you crouch behind them, someone pushes them, you fall. Yeah, we, we're like we're like doing that and fucking. I I don't remember exactly how it started, but at one point, me and Dirt or Dustin Dixon, like, like he like started coming after me, and like we we're we we're going at it, and we we're like wrestling, and like, it yeah, it, we were like started wrestling, and then he I was like oh shit like is this happening like oh it seems like it's getting kind of real like oh shit we're like oh like all right for sure like i was like i'm not gonna back down from this like uh yeah L little kid fucking or not not a little kid i was yeah fucking like freshman freshman year i think sophomore year or something or, yeah fre freshman year i think hey, but, um, but yeah i'm like um, and i i done i was on the wrestling team my eighth grade year so i did that for like a little bit which I wasn't good. I didn't win any matches, but I felt like I had like somewhat of a background. I was like, ah, I kind of know what I'm doing. And we were like wrestling and we were both like, it was at a point like, yo, are we fucking doing this? Or like, what are we like? I mean, I'm done. Like, are, are we like, what's going to happen after this? And we, so we like both, we just like let go. And we like stood up. He's like, oh, dude, you, you like, you stood your ground. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give in a good word to ESG. Like, fucking. Like, he said, he said uh, Dustin Dixon Dirt. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah, but um, but, uh, but yeah, it, it was something along those lines. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put in a good word for you, and then that, I think thing that solidified it was we were at a Wednesday night skate in Oakland at Madison Ledges, and ESG and like a couple other people. I think Dan, fucking a few other people, and. They're like, oh, we're gonna go fucking do this hill bomb. We're gonna um, gonna go to Skyline. Like, do you wanna, or is it? I think is it Skyline, the one by Merritt College. I think uh, it's. Skyline. I'm not super. Familiar. I'm not sure, but um, where? But um, yeah, they're like, oh, we're gonna go do this hill bomb. Like, you guys wanna go? And um, yeah, the dude I rode with at the time, he's a Mark. But, um, yeah, he was like, yo, like you trying to go? Fucking, I was like, yeah, I'm down. Like, sick, sounds good. Like. I'm down. Let's do it. And we go up there, and it's it's a big fucking hill. Like the speed limit's like 35. We were passing cars. Like it, it is steep, windy. There's like two intersections that you go through, and um, so I went down it the first time. We all went down in my skates. I did it by the end of it. My like bearings like overheated and like melted. And there's like this like black goo or like. My wheel, yeah, my wheels like melted and all four wheels were just like melted like and they weren't rolling anymore. I was like going hella slow by the end of it. And yes, he was like behind me in the car, like, yo, fucking speed up. And I was like, my skates aren't going. So we went back to the top of the hill 
He's like, yeah, like, I want to do it again. Like, let's do it again. And I was like, oh, like, my wheels are done. Like, I survived it that one time. Like, at one point, there's, like, a big patch of, like, reworked on ground. And I was like, saw it coming. And right before I was going to jump it, my homie was like, don't jump it. As soon as I was, like, jumping, I guess he didn't, he thought I, like, wouldn't be able to handle it and, like, jump and, like, fucking fuck myself up. But I jumped. Like almost kind of down, like oh, fucking we saved it, and um, so there was like that patch there that was hell scary, and I was like ah, like I survived it the first time, like I'm good, like, and ESG was like yo, like I got my skates in the trunk, you want to use those? Like what size shoe are you? I was like fuck, it's, uh, like eleven. He's like oh sick dude, you can fit these, and I was like oh word, pulls them out, they're fucking a big ass like power blade, like big all power blade wheels, fucking big. I, I like never skated a power blade setup at the time. And fucking I was like, oh shit, like that looks scary. And he's like, no, dude, it's good. You'll do, you'll feel like you're flying. It's it's sick. Like you'll feel like you're flying, bro. It's it's amazing. I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, uh, like I'll I'll put them on, I'll see what's up. So I, I put them on and immediately, like I was used to like the Razor's heel pad thing, hell flat footed and flat setup, immediately like slipped back and was like, oh shit, like almost fell. And I was like, fuck, like, I don't know if I want to do this. Like, no, nah, dude, you got it. Like, you're, it's, it's going to feel like you're flying. It'll be so fun. Like, it's going to be great. It's like, all right, yeah, like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I'm down. Fuck it. I already did it once. Like, let's do it again. So we go down, and it was about, like, halfway down the hill, maybe. There's an intersection, and the light turns red, and there's, like, a truck coming out. And I think Dan had, like, just passed me, and he had the camera and was filming. He, like, just passed me. The car like stopped for Dan. He went through and then like for out of nowhere, the truck like gassed it. As soon as I was coming through, I got hell spooked and I went off to the right and at the intersection, it was like the entrance for like an apartment thing. And I tried to like, I went right and there's like a, around like the curb, the curb for the turn. And I tried to like sit down and put my feet to the curb to like stop me. And I didn't realize the curb was like a roll in one. So when I sat down and like did that, I just fucking launched off of it. And there's like a big, like the sign for the apartment is like made out of like big rocks, like little boulder type things. It's like, it goes around and I fucking like smacked into that and then flew down to the sidewalk, smacked the fuck out of my head. I just remember like going back, hitting it and just fucking like, oh, and I just screamed fuck like as loud as I could. And then I rolled down the hill like another fucking... 10 or 15 feet probably i had like um like a scumpire hat on which was like all the way up at the corner and i had a watch on that was like ripped and broken off and i found that up at the top too and i, I was like laying there i fucking um like hella cars were stopping like oh my god are you okay like all this shit and esd was behind us in the car so he stopped in that apartment spot and like pulled over and like ran over to me He's like, yo, dude, like, you good? And they're, like, checking on me. And I was like, just sitting there, like, fucking, oh, my God. Like, what the fuck? Like, Did you have, like, road, road, lots of road rash? Yeah, I got horrible. Um, My left, my whole thigh was, like, fucking, like, no skin. Like, all road rash, hella bad. My left forearm right here was all hella bad road rash. And my hip got, like, fucked up from when I hit the curb. Mm -hmm. I, like, tried to sit down to it. And, um... Yeah, so I'd, I'd like, um, so I'm laying on the ground, and one, a couple of the homies, because they were they were in it, like in the hill bomb, like they were like, yo, like I could, I'm gonna fucking fall too, like I, like some of them went down and finished. Uh, I think one or two of the homies like dropped to their ass, slid, and like ran back up. I was like laying there. They took my skates off for me, and they're like, yeah, like do you want help up? And I was like, I tried to be like, no, nah, I fucking got this. I like, turned over, got a push up, I, like. Oh, like I got up I took like three steps and then just fucking dropped it was like oh my god no I can't fucking do this like no so they like carried me back to the car oh, fucking yeah and then um yeah we we transferred the homie that, or the, the dude that took me home um he, he brought me back to my house and like the whole car ride home I was like laid out in the back seat just like every bump was like oh my fucking god he, he was, like, sm um, smoking with me and shit the whole time. Cause he's like, fuck, like, here, here, you gotta smoke, like, all this shit. And I'm going back to my parents' house. And I was still young at the time, like, didn't want to 
be like smelling like weed and shit. But I was like, ah, fuck it. Like, I'm, I don't care. When we get to my house, he parks out front and I'm sitting there like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, I open the door and I literally, I couldn't get out of the car. Like, I literally, like, couldn't get out of the fucking car by myself. And uh, we were sitting outside for like 10 or 15 minutes. My dad came out and was like, oh, I thought that was you. Like, what's up? Like, I was like, ah, I hurt myself. I can't fucking move. I can't get out of the car. Like, and they had to like both like help me go up into the house and fucking, yeah, he had to, I, um, at the time too, my parents didn't want me like going out to Oakland for like night sessions. So they're like, no, you you're not going out to Oakland, like, you fucking, all the bad shit's gonna happen to you, like, fucking, they just watch a bunch of news and shit, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, so I told him I went to Walnut Creek Skate Park, and when, um, there's, like, a little tiny hill bomb to a gas station, and I told him I was going down that, and my bearings overheated, melted, so I launched forward, and I fucking fell doing that, but, yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't want to tell him that I did all that, so I was, like, fuck, trying to, <laughs> trying to play that off, and, um, yeah, my mom drove me to the ER that night, and I fucking, they're, like, when they're cleaning it out, they, like, sit, like, numbing shots in it, and so, like, they're putting needles in the fucking open wounds, and they're, like, rub, like, rubbing it and cleaning all, like, the rocks and, like, all the shitty shit that was, like, yeah, it was fucking, it was awful, but I was, I was using a walker for, like, a week after that, and then I was on, I was on a cane for, like, a month and a half, or, like, a month, probably, did you break it? With a walker is pretty great. Yeah, dude, I felt goofy as fuck on a walker. It was funny as fuck. But um, I didn't, I didn't break anything. But I did realize, um, it was like a month or so before we were skating the rail at Piedmont, and it was the first time I skated that rail. I was trying to top acid it, and I came off early. You know the the bushes that were next to it, and all the wild roots. I like, came off early. And my ankle like went up like that. And I had fractured my ankle like a month before that or so. And I had been skating on it the whole time, just thinking that I hurt my ankle. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do like right footed tricks. So like not as many left footed tricks. So when I went into the ER for that fall, I got my ankle x-ray too. And I found out that my ankle was fractured and I had like a, a bone fragment, like a chip of bone just floating in my ankle. It's just, it's still just chilling in there. No but, shit. Yeah. But um, yeah, because of that fall, I realized that that happened. And then I, I was off skates for like two months or so. And this was, I think my senior year in high school. So I, I took my senior photos. I look like fucking Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber with my bowl cut and shit. And I'm a tuxedo fucking thing but I, I took my picture with my skates and in the photo you could see the fucking wheels got like the melted shit around them dude do you have that photo? Really um i think i have that photo it's yeah i think it's on my my fridge at the house i'm pretty sure can, I do. You, uh, can you send me that yeah i got you yeah. I, I, I'm, I i don't know if i'm in the tux in that one i might just be in a button up but yeah I, oh, I want the tux yeah oh i got you on the tux one too i'll send both yeah, yeah, send me that asap got you uh i'm gonna go grab a beer boys i'll be right back you you're at noah's right now yeah what are you doing there we got off work and i came over and chilled here fucking uh yeah i don't smoke at my parents house so I, i wanted to come over here and be a little bit more in my element Nice. Yeah, smoking. I mean, I, I hang out here fucking damn near every day anyways, so. Yeah. How many days do you work in a week right now? I like, so you said three on-site, two off-site, so you're working like five days a week still? Yeah, I work every day uh, during the week. Um, on, on-site, on I work from 8.30 to 2.30, or 8 to 2.30, and the videos that I do is from like 10.30 to 1.00 with the kids on Thursday and Friday. So it's like a little bit shorter, but yeah, it, it's really nice too, because especially we've been trying to like get out Fridays and shit a little bit lately. So I can like Who's, do the work, work videos, get off a little bit earlier and head out. Or even I've gone like to, to Derb's ranch. Like I've gone and stayed the night there. And like when we were like building the ramp, I was over there for like multiple days at a time working and shit. 
and we would just like me and Noah both would do our live videos from the farm, shit like that. So that, that's pretty cool. When you said you uh, were getting out on Friday, like who's we? Like you and Nico? Um, not really. Mostly like to me and Noah. Like sometimes we meet up with Mike, but um. Yeah, for the most part, Nico, we've just been meeting up Saturdays. But, um, yeah, for the moment, we just try to, like, get out and, like, go do something Fridays. If it's not that, then we're, like, meeting up and just going and drinking or hanging out, getting food. Do you attend, like, a weekly skate? Like, do you go to that Newark park every week? Um, I don't go every week, but, yeah, they do the Wednesday night skates. They do them at the Sunnyvale the Fair Oaks Park and Newark and Milpitas, they like rotate through those, which, yeah, Milpitas and Newark, those are both new parks. Those ones are pretty fun. And then Fair Oaks, that one's classic. That one's, that one's always fun. Do you do anything outside of skating that, uh, to like improve on skating? Or like, do you have any like uh, things that you do to like work on skating? Any methods? Um, for a while, I mean, since we haven't been with the kids that much lately, but like last year when we were with the kids like on site every day, um, it, it sounds kind of dumb, but during like PE or like when we go out on breaks and shit, I would like take a basketball or like a, a soccer ball or some shit and I would try to like dribble it with my feet. Like soccer. Like, oh. huge... Yeah, like think like mm-hmm. hoping that it would have something to do with like hand eye or foot eye coordination. For sure. But, uh, so uh, I yeah. used to work at the garden, Madison Square Garden, and the like the Rangers would warm up that way, which nice. was pretty interesting. Yeah, like the professional hockey players would warm up by like juggling a soccer ball. So that definitely has some correlation. And salute, my dude. Cheers. But um, other than that, I'm kind of a lazy piece of shit. I don't really, <laughs> I no don't really stre- keep up with shit like I should. No stretching, no. Uh, I just got one of those machine gun gun things for Christmas. As you know, what I'm saying the the pack is secured. Oh, <laughs> fucking Costco, baby! I got that same same one, sharper image. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> hell Thank yeah. You. I got a Costco one. Is it Sharper Image? No, it's some like off-brand. Uh, like, you, you, you got it before us. This is this Christmas season's massage gun. You got like uh, Christmas seasons. So you got that old shit, dog. Yeah. <laughs> we got like hella heads on ours. It's like, lots of things. Got How many heads you got? Like six. Shit, bro. I got like nine. What? <laughs> what you know about heads? Picking shit up. No, I got a, I got Make rain with these things. Eight, eight for sure. All these butt plugs just falling out. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much. What do you you opened up the wrong package? No, I was just showing you all my attachments, Doug. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's this really sick one you can get, but that's a different story. <laughs> My, mine came with this one. Oh wow no it did to a girl and i was like i'm thinking of you <laughs> how's that go oh she's hyped she's <laughs> <No. laughs> i didn't use it no I was gonna say, <laughs> nobody used steven stair gun call it <laughs> <laughs> show up to the session yo you want to use this how's it smell, how's it smell? <laughs> Steve, what what's your uh like what's your what kind of music do you listen to <laughs> well um i listen to a lot of um, like uh rex life raj like hip-hop rap stuff uh like larry june Mac Dre. Yeah, what all the, all around the, there. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I've been I've been slapping a lot of oldies lately too. I've been um like last year Noah introduced me to this little YouTube show so like uh Tales from the Bus. And they it they yeah, they talk about old tales from like uh tours with people and they did them like like Funkadelic, like part like Parliament, fucking they they went on um Rick James, fucking Prince, a bunch of older yeah, I've been listening to like older music like that and shit lately. Um, yeah, Rita Franklin. Is Jew Life in the house? Oh, he's here. Oh, Jew Life. Go, 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 go. What's up, guys? There he is. Just so you guys know, that's no Nuber. Fell over. I don't know how to say guys? In the house. He'll Elephant. have his own episode eventually, so it's cool. But, but everybody say hi. I wanted to bring Noah in for uh, what would you ask Steven? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I all the embarrassing covered. shit was already asked. No. <laughs> we, we covered the one that you asked me earlier. So you, if you got another one, now's your time. Oh. Oh, Joe, you've been getting fed questions? Maybe. Oh, yeah. we, Me, Cody, we were feeding him questions on the download. What question did you ask? The one about. Uh, Mediocre wolf. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> nice. <laughs> Was there something else? Um. Uh, yeah, bro. What's your affiliation with Temp Gang? <laughs> temp Gang. Oh yeah. What and what is Temp Gang? Yeah. What is Temp, temp gang? gang? No idea what that is. <laughs> That's Temp Gang shit, dog. Fucking um. You guys know Erod and Blader Gang. Mm-hmm. Fucking um. There is there's one point. He was talking about like they're all going like on a on a trip soon or some shit, and he mentioned it was like like oh like re- real gang gets real treatment or like some some shit like that and like the way I, the way I took it or the way he said it I don't know what it was, but I was like oh so you're saying I'm like not real gang and he said like oh so some some people are just temporary, like some some are real gang like said some shit like that, so I took it as like he was saying that I was temporary, so I started like. On, on all my posts, uh, hashtag temp gang shit, and then um, they they had the they had dropped these at the time, and it was around the time that the the male rompers were trending. I don't know if you know what a male romper is. It's like a, a female. I don't know. Explain it to everybody. It's like a like a female onesie of like booty shorts and a short. One of these. <laughs> I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> But yeah, it's like a female you have one. one? Like, but Noah, Noah has a fucking genuine smoke shop, fucking raw <laughs> male romper. And he put it on. Put it on. Yeah, some, somebody it's put it on. Up. <laughs> Backwoods romper. Yeah. <laughs> what? You never know when this will need to come into play. <laughs> Dude, oh, I got the perfect photo. If you guys do one with Noah, I got the photo for it. Okay. It's wearing it. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a. Can we see it? Of like booty shorts. Yeah, he's getting it unfolded right now. Okay, cool. This one's a long sleeve. <laughs> but this is a, a, a male onesie. It's a onesie? Yeah. That's the way. <laughs> what? Your legs go at the bottom. Your dick just stick out <laughs> of the bottom? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yes. so yeah they're awful right <laughs> so i took a photo of a dude in one of those and then i photoshopped the blader gang logo on it and i made a post i was like yo yo guys come get your male rompers to match your male <laughs> blader gang purses and fucking yeah i made the post and yeah he wasn't too happy about it <laughs> but, um we yeah we like we like are you gang it. yeah dog i got she got a tattoo. I yeah, I showed my nipples, so you can show yours. <laughs> oh, he's not even show his nipples. Big oh, what's up, dog? Oh. <laughs> oh, the dirty dark skin. First, this is the first one I got. Later, gang. Yeah. Genesis. That's the the first skate that I got to the Genesis seven point two. But yeah, then there's this one. This one's a little bit more personal. Get the white wall. <laughs> JSF BG. But, Into the moonlight. That's beautiful. I'm excited to get my JSF tattoo. Are you gonna get it? On oh yeah. Face? I'm gonna, yeah. I'm I'm getting another one too. Yes. Like, technically yes. Technically yes. Yes. You're <laughs> gonna get it under your dome. 
Yeah, maybe just like on my throat. That's sick. sick. <laughs> I know you're thinking like like on like the hairline. Just uh, JSF. Maybe I'll replace one of my eyebrows. With you J- should get like JSF, but it looks like three teardrops. Like JSF. Like, <laughs> what my life would be like after that. <laughs> I, guess, I don't know. What, once you go face tats, uh, you you gotta go back. <laughs> you've chosen a different path once you do the face. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I wonder what that path is like. I don't want to. I don't want to walk down it. I bet I want to know. Doug could do it. No, 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 no. I want someone to tell me what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I want someone to tell me what it's like. Talk to Ash. Oh, true. <sighs> I, should, I should talk to Ash about it. Yeah. He got a fat one across his eye hole. Yeah. Ash, Ash Riser, shout out. Blader that makes music. Sick guy. We want to know, your, we know what his path is like. Because who, Joey. Who, who is your least favorite to watch Rollerblader? <laughs> That's a fucking boiling question what do you want to hear from that actually <laughs> i want to hear the truth dog i don't but if it's i just want to watch it i don't watch it i don't like <laughs> i don't watch something and be like damn i hate watching this. <laughs> i'm gonna watch like, i'm gonna watch that guy, guy. <laughs> So what's the list of that guy that you don't watch? <laughs> There's that guy out there, and I'm like, I don't really want to watch that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Could be a couple guys. One guy. I like it all, though. Okay. There's parts. There's a lot to watch. There's a lot to watch. <laughs> you know how much there is to watch? A fuck ton to watch. Way too much. There's way too much to watch. I don't worry about the stuff that I... I'm not watching. I just am excited about what I'm watching when I'm watching. No, I'm, I was just fucking around. Buddy. <laughs> Are you stepping in the unknown territory, my man? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah what's, your, like... what's your goofiest edit? Is there like a goofy edit that you've made? Like when you're younger? Oh, when I was younger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Damn. Yeah, I got one. Fucking uh, my brother, my older brother, he actually works with Biz. Biz got him. Uh, he, when he interviewed for the job, Biz interviewed my brother. No shit. And they, and they work together now. But, um, so he does like video, like editing shit. Cool. When he was like getting into it, um, when I like was getting into skating, he was getting into that. And he wanted to like practice. So he filmed an edit of me. And I had like this shitty, it was like, a, I got it from a biker. It was just a fucking, just a box with like that horrible, like aluminum stapled in coping or hammered in. It was like one of those, like maybe like barely a foot tall. I had that, a little quarter pipe and like a little slider bar, like out front of my house. Um, I got, like, got that from Cody and the whole setup, you were good to go. Yeah, yeah, but my, my skills were just, <laughs> just like amazing it. at the time. Oh, you're good, yeah, you're yeah. good. Yeah. But um, I was doing like Mizus to Souls, that, that, those kinds of switch-ups. <laughs> but, do, you but, um, talk, do you talk at all in the edit? No. Um, I, you hear me go, oh, though, because I die at the end. I try to jump that box that I got from the biker. And I clip it with both my toes as soon as I jump, and I just fucking fight, like fall face first, all the way up um, over it. Yeah, it's great. But yeah, like the song, the editing is like, yeah, it's, it's just none of it looks good. It's like, or the, the editing is good, but it doesn't match the level of skating. And it's like, yo, know, what the fuck is like? There, yeah. There, yeah. So are you describe the music yeah. for the listeners? What what are we working with? The music? I don't even know what it was. It sounded like elevator music, damn near. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, it was. I don't remember. Yeah, it was something my brother used. But um, yeah, that and then my homie that I grew up with going to school, he made he had like a flip camera, and he made a edit of me on that, and like he had this this whole vision. He's like, bro, I want to make you an edit, like. We were skating to the, the gas station to go get snacks. 
and he was like on his bike and he's like yo like down this this strip of of, of street like i want to get a clip of you just skating like it'll look sick and like he had me like doing all this choreographed stuff and oh, I no, don't even that's, know that's that the one is. i want to see yeah Wait, that's the, that's what i'm talking about yeah that, like the whole edit wasn't choreographed but like mostly like that intro and it was like hella like like kind of not a little bit dramatic for what it was but yeah same same era of your skating like when your brother made the other one yeah yeah it was like probably like a month or two later nice oh you were yeah. banging out the content oh, oh yeah yeah I, um there's this one day me and cody it was like the one of the first days he took me out like street skating it was, was it thanksgiving or is it super bowl day or some, some one of those it was super bowl day for sure but we went out and i did like i like 360 this like five stair like fakey three did I like did about like my first shit in in the streets and like did all that and was like super hyped. And I think yeah. I think you can find that edit on YouTube still. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, that one's that that's me in the in the Genesis skate. So that was like my first year of skating. So that was fun. That's so sick that, that exists. Like all yeah. that stuff is not around for me. <laughs> really? Yeah. A lot of it's like just gone with like yeah, I might be able to ask around and find it, but like a lot of the early, early stuff is just gone. Dude, I'm fucking bummed. I had this uh, hand me down camera from my brother and me, Cody, like Tyler, Paco, a couple of the homies that I grew up skating with. We like went out and I had it was like a like 127 or like some, some, like it was in the hundreds pages of nine clips each so like a hundred like a couple hundred times nine however many clips that is but it was from like the whole like my first and second year of skating like we filmed like everything like, so much shit that we were doing and i let my homie borrow the camera and he went out because they were skating too so, and they went out and filmed shit and when i got it back fucking we like filmed a little bit and then i let my homie borrow it because he was doing I forgot what he was doing with it, but um, I think it was like music or taking taking photos for school or some shit like that. But he used it for that, and when he gave it back, everything was fucking gone, and all like only the shit that he had on it was there. And I was like, dude, no, like everything. And I never, like, I had a computer, but I never, like, I was not the type to like, oh, I'm gonna load all my clips onto it. And like, we just had the camera and fucking kept it rocking everything was fucking gone and yeah i was i was pissed i was bummed i was gonna ask you what's the what's your favorite thing you ever lost but that was it or was that the was that the like is there any other clip or like thing that's been lost that you've been super bummed about you kind of answered my question but yeah there's like a whole collective shit of like stuff i don't even it was just like me landing shit for the first time like all that shit which like I would like to have seen like the progress mm. but um fuck to, um, there's some shit that I've like taken photos with ESG but didn't get a clip on and that's like I feel like I kind of lost like have to go back and do it again maybe at some point or like do something better or yeah something like that but yeah there's been times where I do something and I'm like damn like I should have filmed that because I don't know if I'll do that again. Like, <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Um, like, one in particular, there's this steep turn green rail in Oakland. Um, it's like a flat to downturn, and there's like a line of trees next to it. Uh, I want to say Bellino has skated it. Fucking, I think Maddie Schrock. It's a rail to the tree. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a steep green rail. But um, I got a photo. I, I did soul on it. Um, I, I sold it twice for the photo and then did like a little pill bomb in the dirt after. But yeah, we, we never filmed that one. And I wanted to, that day, I was thinking about trying to negative mistrial it. And I was like, oh, that'd be sick. But I'd, I was like, nah, I sold it. Like, I'm good. And I figured that I would come back for the negative mistrial, but I went back to the spot recently and was like, oh, well, no, I'm not negative mistrialing this. Like, what the fuck? It's still there? Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I want to say it's over by the fair then. I'm not sure, though. Okay, I don't remember exactly. 
But um, yeah, I think Swan top sold it, I believe. I want to say, I think Bellino did like Inspin top sold the flat and down, maybe. Maddie, I, I don't know. I could just be speaking incorrect things the whole time. But um, yeah. I have, to, I have to see the rail. I can't really remember what spot it is. I'm pretty bad at that most of the time. I have an idea. Is, like, the, the building next to it, like, a like a coralish, like, orange color? I think, yeah, it's, like, brick, I think, maybe. Or it's, like, or I don't know about, no, nah, I don't. It's on the right know. side? Yeah, the, right the rail's on the right side. side. Right? I think I know what it is now. You know what I'm talking about, right? it, or what Steven's talking about? I think we're talking about the same spot. Yeah, dude, you should go back and do that. Fuck yeah, dude, go do that. I probably won't do negative mistrial, but I want to do something else on it for sure. Negative macchio. Oh, um, that that really be the. Is it high? It's just scary because there's like there's like four big ass trees like on all the points where if you come off, there's a trees right there. Which luckily I never went far side and had to deal with that, but. Yeah, I, yeah, I like hopped on it. I like tried it a couple times, and then I, I did it twice, and then yeah, I was like, I'm taking it. Like I didn't fall. Like cool, sick, I'm happy. Yeah. I feel that, especially for the photo, but you should definitely yeah. open it. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, over, ooh, scary. Oh, you got overbus on that for sure. Maybe. Uh, for right. I mean, I'm gonna give you like a, a, a two minute break to talk to Noah because I gotta go pee. Okay. Yeah. We'll take a piss. We'll be right back. <laughs> Put me on the spot, dog. Oh, bro, I don't know what the fuck to talk about. You're talk about, you, your, talk about your male robber. Are you wearing it? Are you wearing it? No, not yet. Why would you be wearing it? I should have been. That would have been a cool fucking thing. Yeah, that cool. would have been great. Hi, Noah. Hey, this Noah. Is, Hi. Everyone, Noah Newber, special guest. This is our treat for episode eight. We knew he was coming on. Noah. How is it? Uh, it's it's good, guys. It's good to be here. Um, long time listener, first time podcaster guy. Nice. I don't know what to say. Yeah, you guys are doing the you Lord's work room. here. You have a lovely room. Oh, thank you. This is uh, this is some wheels right here. You got questions? Collection oh. of wheels. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So you, can you give us a little backstory on this uh, Brian Shima medium signed poster? Yeah. All right. So the Brian Shima poster, that was from a demo in my hometown over here in Concord uh, during some kind of medium tour. So I want to say like 98, 99. And I went with my buddies. We watched the demo and a friend of mine ended up getting the poster he was one of the people who got me into skating. His name was Kyle. Um, he had a brother named Keegan. They lived right around the corner, skated with those dudes. Kyle ended up passing away maybe like almost 15 years ago now. Um, rest in peace. But his brother Keegan gave me the poster. And so after that, uh, Brian started doing like, SSM and stuff so he was around a lot more I would bump into him every now and again and just so happened I knew he was going to be at this fucking skate park in Sacramento one night 28th and B so I took the poster a couple of magazines grommed out got him autographed so I got this I got like the box magazine where he's doing the alley wall ride off the roof sick uh, was was Shima at that demo when you went too? Yeah, it was like uh, Shima, Latimer. I want to say Chalky was there. Who else was at that? Um, it was like the medium team at the time, plus like maybe a couple of the Solomon writers. So a few different dudes. I want to say Aaron was there too. Some heavy hitters for sure. Yeah, it's but it was it was like a bunch of people, and for me, I was like, shit, ninety eight, ninety nine, like ten, eleven years old, so pretty sixteen, all that. 
it's really sick you were able to tie together and get the poster autographed like and with your homie rest in peace like that's a really sentimental piece that's sick you got that there yeah yeah i gotta get it framed soon i've been looking into that so i'm trying to do it professionally it's like an old vinyl poster oh no shit um, it's a guy a guy like a holograph like not a holograph a uh lithograph uh yeah it's like i don't know like those old vinyl posters yeah. you would get at comps yeah that's so sick. like those don't die they're sick i got a couple other ones i got some senate ones and just uh like razors ones rims ones you would get a contest back in the day but uh this will steven's back and he's got a lot of shit to say about rollerblading. He has some <laughs> strong he? opinions, my dude. About Does he have strong opinions? Yeah. About what? About what? Right. what he have strong opinions about just for. All right. So, Steven once said that if you do an X grind with your back foot topside, it doesn't count. And he heard it from Broscow, and Broscow is the king. So, I don't know. I don't disagree with that sentiment. I think they're two different tricks, for one. But you like words in my mouth. the one in <laughs> one in front is definitely the real X grind. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there are some people that do it well. You just gonna quote? Other there are no. I there are some I do people that do it well, like that. The one in front is definitely. Yeah, no, I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do both. I don't discriminate. He's just do you guys good. believe in switch X grinds? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't yeah. I have to think about it's it. When, it's when the other top side foot is in front. I don't believe that's one is a switch X grind. X or an That's one of those tricks where I'm like, like, oh, left foot, right foot, switch, but they, it's the same fucking thing each way no, around. No, no, no. So like, I'm saying, like, if the, the fish foot is in front, like, if your left fish foot is in front and then you do right fish foot in front, that's the switch one. Like, yeah. Tomato just, tomatoes, man. <laughs> I don't know. Steven's back. I'll let you argue semantics with him. But he's also been unicycling in his spare time, brushing up on what? that. That's Thanks. Thanks for what? Time. <laughs> yeah, you, you asked what my my inspirations outside of rollerblading are. I'm, I'm unicycling and pogo sticking. <laughs> Yo, I've seen some dude do like down bars and shit on the fucking. You no, know, I've seen door. some wild ass shit on fucking unicycles lately, and I don't know how I feel about it. I'm yeah, super. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, but I'm I still good. don't know if I like it. I saw a really sick pogo stick, stick, pogo stick gap that this guy did not land, but he gets it immediately. He's like, I'm fine. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> all. He gets rocked. Kind of. It's like, yeah, <laughs> you got to see it again. It's really wild. I'll send it to you guys. Yeah, he gets pogo stick gap, though. <laughs> Jump that a gap. Like a spring. <coughs> oh, imagine putting springs in your skates. You'd never land shit. You look you skated Kaiser suspension frames? Springs in your skates. You never skated Kaiser suspensions? But that was like a... Like a cushion. No, it was a dampener. It you guys ever skate those create skates that like never fucking were successful that were like springs? I the people skate them though. I have seen them. When I see them, I'm like, whoa, you got those cool frames that I don't really know exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those, they seem I, it seems like a sick concept, but yeah. Yeah, I never really saw much more of them. I don't know if they're still really around. Uh, I don't think well, didn't so. a bunch of people get fucked in that? Yeah, I'm pretty process? sure a bunch of people like pre-ordered them and then never got them, or they like they backed it, like funding or something. Yeah, I, I, I forgot exactly what it was that they were doing, but they were like crowdfunding them. I think it was like a GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah, and then a bunch nobody like or like some people got it. I don't, I don't want to like create rumors or whatever but yeah i don't know i mean i love create rich i just bought a pair of create i got them i'm about to put them on my skates right now you can get the true story on one of those facebook pages for sure (laughs) blade blade hate yeah bro hey 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 hey, the the true story story on facebook um yeah yeah, that that sucks that that happened though yeah creates are amazing but 
Yeah, that sucks. What's Lux? Lux? Oh, uh, the homie Kirk Chang. Um, I don't know. He's from like the San Jose area, Milpeat or some, I don't know, that region. But he started, it started off as Blade Lux and then he turned it into One Lux. Okay. And yeah, it, it's, it's no longer. Yeah. He, he, he let, he, he's, he's doing fashion stuff on YouTube. He's, it seems like yeah, he's doing pretty good though, in that realm. What's up? It seems like he's doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, no, he's got like a, a pretty decent sized following right now. He's doing really well for himself. It's yeah. fucking sick to see. It, it's not, it, it's a kind of a bummer to like not see him around as much. And like, cause he's, he's fucking nice on the skates. It, he's it was so good. Easy. Is so yeah, like, he's fucking nice. It's always good to skate with him. Good to like watch him skate, and he's fucking hilarious too. But um, yeah, I just haven't seen him as much lately. But yeah, he's still still doing shit, just not skating. But I mean, the world isn't just skating, so yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> Hell you're, yeah, you're a big Almost, fan of Star Wars. I almost ruined the Mandalorian episode for you. <laughs> yeah, this fool, he's like, yeah, yeah, the new episode came out. I'm going to watch it while I drive home. <laughs> Why don't you just wait till you get home? And they're like, and then they're like, him and Noah are both like, no, nah, this is how we do it. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to listen to music. I'm going to just experience it my own way. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, you're going to watch it on that little-ass screen? Like, you got to watch it on the big screen. I was like, yeah, we watch it on this fucking phone anyway. <laughs> it's like, it's... You guys are but... tripping, dude. You do pretty much whatever you can do besides drive while driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. The craziest part to me is you will be rolling up and no being in the fucking passenger seat, not rolling up. That's the part that fucking kills me. Like, <laughs> yes. Yep. I feel like, a, bro, I'm, I roll a spliff, like like you said, while I'm still smoking one. Like, I, I feel annoying as fuck if every fucking 10 minutes, yo, hey, you trying to roll me one? Hey, bro, hey, you trying to roll me one? Hey, can you roll me another one? <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know. It, it's definitely not like the smartest or safest thing to do, but I mean, you're proficient at it. That is for sure. Yeah. While I'm also doing the GPS for the skate spot and, and talking to like three different people about meeting up, no one else in the car just has any, any thought to be like, oh, maybe I'll hit them up or something. <laughs> it's like, nah, Steve's got it. Which, yeah. It's... <laughs> you're popular, <laughs> <brother>. <laughs> What? I, I said it's it's you're already doing four other things. You might as well hit the yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Might as well. <laughs> oh, damn. So um, do you think you're Sith or Jedi? <laughs> uh, neither. What are you then? Are you going to tell me that you're one with the force? Because like, that's not a fair answer. I'm like Ahsoka when she left. Just a free free roamer. But then she came back kind of. No. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'd answer. like to think that I'd be a Jedi, but I'd probably be a Sith. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a... I'm a I'm a degenerate. What can I say? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Dark. you used my powers for good. <laughs> I don't think you're a degenerate. <laughs> what? Nah, you're a pretty good dude. Yo, <laughs> you be teaching kids how to do stuff. <laughs> you're a great guy. I could... There's balance in the force. I don't know. That's... Yeah. <laughs> well said. <laughs> But fucking, you guys be keeping up on Marvel shit too, and Star Wars or what? Not as much on the Marvel for me. No, that Mandalorian kind of lost me. I don't really, I didn't really agree with some of that. The mission, yeah, like, it's a little too like, mission based for me. Like the ending, oh, or like this really the whole. You like that, dude? 
Dude, do you know how annoying that is for a storyline? It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna uh, progress the storyline minimally. Is it over? Isn't it over? No, no, I don't think it's over. No, I thought they were gonna move on to a different like project. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm hoping they're gonna. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have like an Ahsoka show and like a yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi show. I'm I'm hoping that because they already have Ahsoka on it. I'm hoping that they like introduce that show through Mandalorian or like some shit like that I, I, I don't know I feel like Star Wars shit with the shows is gonna kind of go about it like how like the Marvel universe is uh, everything's like linking in which yeah, yeah there's that's... a lot of overlapping but it like makes sense the way they do it <laughs> yeah hmm. Does it, aren't they gonna do like the like the Boba Fett yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, that at the very end of Mandalorian, they had the little teaser for that. That's gonna be sick. Yeah, why is, I don't know why I, I just assumed that Mandalorian wasn't gonna get another season since, like, yeah, I don't want to like uh-huh. spoil it for anybody that's listening that might want to watch it. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, you made it this far and I spoiled Mandalorian. I actually apologize. Damn, dude, at the beginning of your videos, you don't let them know that you're going to fucking spoiler tease all their favorite shows and shit? <laughs> I mean, we actually haven't talked about much TV on here. Have we? Not really. <laughs> no, we talked about some movies and shit, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a nerd. What can I, mean, I say? I recently watched Tenant. Have you guys seen Tenant? Yeah. Mm, I don't Dude. think Tenant. Kenan? No, Tenant. Tenant? Yeah, sorry. I, is that I, uh, is that the is that the is that the new one? Kind of. Newer. It came out like last summer, maybe. Right. So is that, is that the one that's kind of like Inception? Yes. But I have not seen that one. So, I'm not I mean, I, to, though. It, it's it's not like well, I guess there's like so, some sort of like time travel. Yeah. Yeah, it just, not- yeah, from the trailers, I, I don't know what you're talking about. It reminded me of that, but yeah, I haven't it's seen like, that one. It's like a Bourne movie, you know, like the classic action movie plus time travel. It's fucking sick. Nice. There you go. Yeah. That was oh. that movie. I would like to see that again. I gotta go on piratemovies.org and go watch that. Dude. Uh, what was your screen name? growing up did you have an aim like an aol instant messenger uh i still have my aol email account i'm still rocking with it okay but, uh, I, I never had an aim thing uh you didn't you never had like an away message or anything like that no nah. funny where the line gets drawn man <laughs> <laughs> like you're not that much younger than us i definitely yeah. Have <laughs> yeah no i had to like like asked for permission to make a MySpace account. <laughs> oh, they're like, like no nah. MySpace. Okay, cool. I, I, I had a MySpace and fucking. What was your What was your uh, profile song? Do you have, Do you remember oh, any of them? Fuck. I had multiple. I, I would switch them up pretty often. But I remember one. Was it Clyde Carson, Secret Lover? It was this 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 girl in my school that I was messing with? She, yeah, she really liked that song, so I put it on my shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I remember some girl put a metal song in her MySpace, and she like, I wasn't really interested in her, but she was interested in me. I was like, this, she doesn't like this fucking music. Uh, I definitely had some Slipknot game. songs as my songs too. I'm pretty sure. I went. Yeah, I would. There'd be one week where my page would be like horror movie and like Slipknot songs themed and shit and then the next one would be like Bay Area rap shit and shit like just, so yeah. you do the whole page as like an ambiance to the music I wouldn't not, not like the music necessarily but like yeah kind of I don't know I, I wouldn't like My I, would, I would just change like the like the background picture or like you know how you could do like the whole yeah I, I wouldn't go like all out and hella extra but I would definitely do a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. Dude, they fucked us over on that one. We would have all been able to type in HTML, speak computer. Are you looking forward to anything over this next year, Stephen, that we should know about? 
Do you have any cool things coming up? Um, it's like we're we're talking about the like hit it wet again. That that should be releasing this year, right? Hopefully, maybe. Hopefully, or so yeah. Well, either way, I'm looking forward to getting out to San Francisco again and starting to film again with you. Do that, and then yeah, like the videos we were talking about next on nine two. That should be done next or by the end of this year or like mid next year, I think something like that. But um, next year, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Fucking um, yeah. I'm I'm excited to keep working on those and get those done because I don't know. Like with hit it wet. Like I feel like. I've like gotten clips in videos, but I've never had like a, a full part. And like same with like Grande, I like like I'm always in like like the Friends montage or something like that. Which there there's been like a few times like with the shift one, I was able to like get enough for my own. But yeah, I'm just um, I want to like that focus. That's on... great, by the way. Oh hell, hell yeah, yeah, thank you. That section is fucking great. Yeah. Um, no, thank you. Didn't mean to cut you off, like, but you, you know that. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah, I just I'm like looking forward to breaking that and like just m- getting the full part and like I don't know, get some enders that I'm happy about because I have a few things that I want to do that I've been thinking about. So yeah, I wanna I wanna do that and fucking stop being such a pussy again about jumping on rails and shit. As long as it's fun. Are you a uh... It What's up? Fun. But uh, are you a list person? You. <laughs> I think it's fun to get the shit person? out of myself. Stop it! No, I, oh, I do like have that. fun sometimes, but I, I've just been getting like too scared and and just frustrated a lot lately. So it's, yeah. But, yeah, no, I definitely there's the, yeah the, the adrenaline rush the adrenaline rush is fucking yeah it's amazing. Yeah, but if it's not if it's not fun or it's not like super motivating, you know. Yeah. Which yeah, I'm trying to get past that. I'm trying to come out and show up for hit it wet again. I. Yeah. Like, I mean, we started baby. getting some stuff, and I'm, yeah, I'm I'm really hyped about a lot of the stuff that we've gotten together. Yeah, but, you got a sick start. And I'm looking forward to the rest of it too. But um. Steven, are you a list person or do you just go out and skate? Do you have like things that you specifically like to do or do you like just go out all? I mean, I feel like I think a lot of the times I have the most fun when we just go out like looking and like just come across shit. Um, I feel like that's sometimes it's like more fun or like I'll get some like the best shit because I don't know if I like think about something that I want to do for how long and like have like time to think about it. I like overthink it or like freak myself out or some shit. By the time I get there, I'm like, oh, like it wasn't what I thought. Like maybe not. But sometimes, yeah, when I like come across something like, oh, sick, like maybe I could do this. And like, yeah, something like natural happens. Mm -hmm. I I, like really love that. But yeah, I I don't really make too many lists. I do. I do keep track of shit but yeah i don't know for the most part, I, I try not to yeah like really plan out everything which it's not a bad thing like it's it's really good to like have a list of like especially like trick vocabulary too to be like you know i want to get this done i want i want to do something here like that it's super productive i just end up like not being as productive when I do that for some reason. I don't know. I psych myself out, I guess. Sometimes it, it does psych you, like make you psych yourself out. It, it is it's a funny thing when you've been thinking about something scary for an extended period of time. But yeah. uh, when you when you're filming something, do you take note of what you're like what you have done or is it just more spot to spot based or you're doing <coughs> off of what you've already done yeah i definitely try to make an effort to like remember what i've already done so i can stray away from like certain tricks that i want to like keep it not just like 
five tricks in a video. I want to have like a decent variety. Um, that and like spot selection too, which I'm not always the best at, but I know yeah. you love his classic bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that clip we got in the park though, where you hop over the homies and then you do do bar. Yeah. That's a good line, dude. Yeah, I'm hyped about that one. Yeah, that's, that's probably one of my favorites so far. Yeah, that one's fun. Yeah, that one made it on the calendar too. I'm hyped. Oh yeah, well, uh, what month is that? Um. Fuck, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I, I need to get a look right now, though. Sick. I hope I'm June. I don't think I am, though. I think I'm April. Maybe. You can, we're going to clear that up in just a moment. I had, had to get the homies the calendar for Christmas. Hey, what uh, what uh, what month am I, for the record? <laughs> March, hey, baby. March, fuck, okay. And then you're, I think you're like June or July. Yeah, May. Oh, fuck. Oh, my birthday. Nice. It's a party shop for my birthday month. That's nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, This is like the best one. Shout out to ESG for the fucking calendars, dude. I need to obtain mine. I'm fucking up. Dude, it went again. Remind me to fucking. Remind me to fucking Ben about him next time yeah. we speak not on this. There's a whole nother. I, I, I just paid that for I'm, I'm buying two loafs off of him. No. Nah, Making red yeah. loafs. Can you, do you think he'll ship a loaf to LA? Is that a thing that he might do? <laughs> I, think, I think he would. For the record, we're talking about ESG, Eric Garcia's meatloafs, bacon wrapped, smoked meatloafs that are truly hit the spot. You can clearly hear Steven's trying to buy two of them. Joey wants them shipped to him. I've eaten them. I've enjoyed them. I've been trying to get a pity loaf for like two years. Every filth fiesta, I come so close, so <laughs> close to winning a loaf. No. So what, close, but I, what, but I can't. And I, what, what, happened, what, happened, what happened as you were in first place and reached the finish, finish line? You were about 10 feet ahead of everyone else and you didn't win why yeah yeah this last one so um victor he had his cousins come out and they're they professional lassoers they're fucking with the rope Cowboys. And, um, they, yeah, they had one at the beginning so you you have to like gap 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 it's a third and army so you have to like gap these gaps in the ledges and then on skates do 10 uh, jump ropes which is Lit. fucking impossible for the record. Oh, like, I was crushing it, dog. You gotta like, you gotta use your skates to your advantage. He's on it, short. Like, He's short. It's hard yeah. for <laughs> kids. Legs are too tiny. Yeah, yeah. But um, I was like doing that, and I used the jump rope to avoid the first lasso because I like jump rope my way into safety, kind of, and like in the last one, I like use the rope and I like smack, smack the lasso off my head. And uh, you like gap down, and when you, it's like this, like a four foot drop probably off of a little wooden launch ramp. And right after the landing, there is like a uh, a rope that went straight across just to fucking clothesline you. <laughs> and I, I'd sk- I'd seen it, I knew it was there. I had skated it a year before, and it was there. But I I was like, oh, I've, I've already done this before. It's gonna be the same fucking shit. I wasn't listening and I, I wasn't paying attention when he was saying everything. So I fucking launch off, didn't see it, and it fucking got me like in the neck <laughs> and it got my ear. My whole shit right here was hella bright red. But it, it like I landed and just fucking yerp, like clothesline straight to the ground. Fucking got back up, ran. Still in the lead. Yeah, still I, in the I, lead. I like still, yeah, I like, got that and fucking you like go turn around the corner and then it's a straightaway to this uh, the ramp that we did the you get pulled by a motorcycle and launch off of um it's it's to that ramp and at the ramp is the finish line and it, i think it was the first person to hit the ground off the ramp is who won and so i was skating and i'm like ahead of this dude i'm like going and i like um people are throwing little foam footballs too i get smacked in the face by one i'm like oh shit and immediately I'm like, oh, sick, I'm in the lead. I'm about to win. I get lassoed from behind and just, like, fucking yanks me by the waist. 
And at this point, I was like, I want that fucking loaf. I grabbed the rope and I was about to just yank on it, but I was like, that's probably a dick move. Like, I'm not gonna. So I like climbed out of it and I'm going, and some other dude, I forgot who it was, but um, he's like coming up right on me. Like, as soon as I'm like getting out of it. So we're skating. I get on the ramp first and he passes me on the ramp, hits the ground first. And like, I, li- I was like on the ramp first, but he came up and passed me. And he, yeah, he, he took it. And I was so upset. I was like, no, no. I, yeah. After that, I, I was like, oh, yeah, I, I need a pity loaf, Doug. And yeah. A pity was, loaf? Pity loaf. Yeah. I think you deserve yeah. pity loaf for sure. It's, I forgot. Um, I think Eric was on was it Jump Street, maybe. Or, I, I don't, I forgot what it was on, but um, it was in some live, live chat thing. And, I, I tried to comment like, yo, I, I need a pity loaf. And, and my spell check thing, it said, yo, I need a pity load. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, I just said that into the internet. Like, no. Like, I was like, loaf, loaf, loaf. <laughs> you want to <laughs> loaf, not load. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't need no pity loads, dog. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a great place to end it, Steven. Yeah. All the words for the audience members, the bladies or bladers that may be watching you. Everybody send words? even your pity load, first of all. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your last uh, word? If you skate flat, you're cheating. <laughs> you cheating. I fuck <laughs> with that sentiment, dude. Anybody uh, want to shout out like uh, sponsors, we, humans, uh, substances, shoe products? I don't know. What do you got for us? Hmm. Yeah. Sh- uh, shout out Moonshine. Juan, I love you. Shout out JSF. You know, my family. Shout out to my actual family, family. Um, shout out Razors. They, they, they keep me inside of skates. Um, smoke weed, eat weed. Uh, and don't forget to hit it wet. Ah. Bye bye, everybody. See you later, motherfuckers. <laughs>